Hello and welcome. My name is Andy Buffard. What you're about to watch is a video recording of a stream of a game of Imperial Skies, Robin Fitton's Victorian science fiction flying ship miniature game. Houston Beer and Pretzel Wargaming played this game on Thursday night, March 4th of 2021. One caveat before you watch this, I do want to apologize. The uh, screen size um, is not adjusted quite right. Um, I recently uh, acquired a new monitor and hadn't adjusted OBS, the software I use to record these streams, um, so that the uh, video feed was the correct uh, proportion relative to my screen. As a result, you're not going to see the extreme right side of my screen where the chat window and other interfaces are in Roll20, and you may not see much of the bottom portion of the screen. That's been corrected for future videos, so rest assured things will look much better with uh, videos going forward. In any event, I hope you enjoy the stream and at least get a good idea of how we use Roll20 and Discord to play games like Imperial Skies. Thank you. Have a good day. Guys, welcome. This is the 11th anniversary of Houston, Houston Beer and Pretzel Wargaming. Uh, we obviously started in Asgard in our old location. Uh, 11 years ago with a, a, a Pearl Heffen, an attack on Pearl Heffen um, somewhere in the Mediterranean, in the Caribbean, I think, uh, using Aaron F. Uh, the last few years we've been switching to Imperial Skies, Robin Fitton's game, um, which is supported by Tony Francis at Brigade with all the models that we were using Aaron F. Um, Imperial Skies adds a little more complexity to what was a pretty simple game, but Imperial Skies is still pretty simple. It's still pretty beer and pretzel. Um, it does um, go uh, still use the same exploding D6 system that uh, Aaron F. used. Basically, what we're looking at here are Victorian science fiction uh, VSF uh, airships, ships that are lighter than air, which... Uh, whether whether you whether you played Aaron F and it was the turn of the early uh, late 1800s versus Aaron F, which takes place more in the 1920s, 1910s, and 1920s, um, the concept is the same. Uh, uh, humanity has found material that is lighter than air and been able to coat the hulls of ships or use those materials to basically uh, levitate uh, heavier <laughs> heavier than air vessels. Um, that uh, fire broadsides and, and air torpedoes and all kinds of fun stuff. So um, <clears throat> the if you, uh, ships in the game uh, are sort of just airborne versions of the naval vessels we're all familiar with: battleships, cruisers, destroyers, fighters, etc. Um, the uh, the uh, com the added complexity on top of we don't worry about altitude. Uh, that's something that, that we just don't fuss with. It's just all uh, ships maneuvering in, in the air. Um, we uh, Imperial Skies added uh, the, the biggest complexity. I think Imperial Skies added with a little more command and control with some command points that you can assign to ships to give them special special actions during a turn. And the other biggest thing, the other biggest change was simply that ships can have three classes of gun, um, basically short short range or, or uh, uh, small guns medium guns and heavy or large guns uh, and the ranges are all pretty simple uh, this is a six foot by four foot table what you're looking at is the southern entrance to the suez canal so this is the gulf of suez today uh, of course this is not today this is sometime in the, at the turn of the century and there has been a war raging in europe which has re recently reached a recently come to a conclusion with a with a um a, uh, uh, shall we say um, uncertain piece so it's a bit of a shaky piece a number of commercial vessels have gone missing uh, in this area of the Gulf of Suez and uh, both the British and the French are, are want to blame each other for the dis mysterious disappearance of these vessels uh, either trying to get into the Suez Canal or coming out of the Suez Canal um, the most recent vessel lost in this way, mysteriously, is a French commercial vessel. Um, both the French and British have uh, have investigated, and the rumors are that some sort of sea creature is responsible. Although those who are m perhaps uh, more inclined to science think that's unlikely. However, uh, both nations are pointing fingers at each other, and both are here to investigate uh, the the situation. Uh, 
everybody's going to get a, a quite well I'm sure, throughout this in, throughout this process of investigation. I think you think one of the things that this is missing is extra meat. Go ahead. Well, that's uh, why the Dan, can you mute your no, can you mute no. your uh, meeting mic, please? Okay, sorry, I had to take a drink of my beer. Oh, Mike. Okay, great. Mike West has joined us on Discord. Welcome, Mike. Uh, Dan? Howdy, I was printing stuff off. No worries. Dan, uh, Dan, if you can hear me, you'll look at look at the Imper hashtag Imperial Skies channel, um, which is just above this voice chat channel. And in that uh, Imperial Skies text channel, you'll find a bunch of files you could download. They're also in your journal of Roll20. And you'll find the link to Roll20 at the bottom of that uh, text channel. <laughs> if you want to join us in Roll20, in a new Roll20 module. Okay, as I was saying, uh, the British fleet is in the lower right corner. The French fleet is in the upper left corner. Uh, the uh, roughly equivalent, um, the French have uh, a number of torpedo boats, uh, 14 of them in fact. Uh, the British have uh, just destroyers, so they're a little bit bigger. Um, I'm going to quickly go over a ship card and what's on it, so you can inter understand and interpret what's on it. And then I'll briefly describe the sequence of play, and then we'll just get into it. And uh, as, things, as things come up, I'll also, when I talk about these ships, I'm going to... Uh, a ship card. I'm also going to um, focus all of our attention into the middle of the table, and I'm just going to take a a, French, a British destroyer here uh, and and use it to demonstrate. I'll put another I'll put another British destroyer here uh, as well, and so you should all be looking here at the middle of this, roughly the middle of this of the ta table. So if you want to pick up any of these ship cards, you can. If you want to pick up the Calypso or the Arethusa, the Arethusa ship card uh, specifically, that's fine too. Um, and they uh, are all there. Like I said, um, these are these are cards that are two-sided. Uh, printed out. Um, blue side, red side. Uh, the blue side contains the name of your ship and its ID and the nationality and the type of ship it is, the destroyer. The 16 for the Arethusa, it represents the fact that it takes 16 hull hits before it is destroyed. It becomes a raging fireball. Uh, if you look at the red side of the card, there are 16 little hull boxes there that get filled out with damage. You'll notice the first row has a minus one at the end of it, and then the second row has a minus two at the end of it. When all the boxes in a row are filled in, the minus one is subtracted from all of the gun dice, so you lose a, you lose minus one for each of the three classes of gun in the ship, uh, and you lose one inch on movement, um, etc. When you get uh, to the second row filled in, you lose minus two on all the gun dice and minus two more on movement. So that's what those numbers are concerned with. The B in the blue side of the card, the B represents the turn gauge or turn radius. There are five gauges in the game. A is the tightest turn, roughly a 90 degree turn. It takes two inches of forward movement to turn 90 degrees for an A type ship. And then it goes all the way up to E, which is your dreadnoughts and your carriers move, move very, turn very slowly. And there are plastic or acrylic turn gauges that we use. Yours truly has created a number of macros uh, in JavaScript to assist us in uh, simulating those, uh, easily simulating those turn gauges. So you'll not find any turn gauges on the map. You, what you will find, in case you need to check broadside, is, and you can also use it to guesstimate uh, angles, are our little target reticules, which I have dragged onto the map. And so you can rotate those. Everybody has to, to control those. And you can rotate those to uh, get an idea of uh, what's what's the broad side of a ship, what's the front arc of a ship, what's the back arc of a ship, etc. Okay, uh, set that aside for a second. Going back uh, again, looking at the Arethusa, the uh, then you see that uh, uh, the yellow, red, and orange turrets simu uh, simulated there are the gun strength of uh, those weapons at full strength. So you'll see the Arethusa has no red guns, that is to say no uh, heavy guns. It has seven medium guns and six small guns. All right. 
if you click on one of the Arethusa class ships, like the Calypso or the Arethusa that I have on the screen, you'll see those numbers reflected in a red, orange, and yellow circle above the ship. Can everybody see those numbers? 0, 7, and 6. Does anybody not see, cannot click on the Arethusa or the Calypso and see those numbers? Perfect. All right. <clears throat> Going back to the Arethusa card. Okay. You'll notice the numbers 10 inches, 20 inches, and 30 inches. All right. The uh, uh, small guns have a range of 10 inches. The medium guns have a range of 20. And the large guns have a range of 30. All right. Um, when you're rolling D6s, if I'm firing this, the uh, at short range, I can fire all three uh, okay. gun types. Uh, and I'm going to do that with one click of a macro, and it's going to roll them all for me. Uh, and uh, what you need to hit is depends on the gun and the range. So short, uh, light guns or small guns always only shoot at short range. That would say within 10 inches, and they always need sixes to hit. Medium guns can hit at... Uh, short range on a five or six and at medium range on a six that is up to 20 inches on a six large guns can hit at short range in 10 inches they can hit four five or six so four up at medium range they can hit on a five up at long range they hit on sixes all sixes explode so sixes will keep rolling more more dice and uh, the macro i've created will do that for you and count up successes all right so, for example, if the Calypso were to fire at the Arethusa, uh, and we measured the range between the Calypso, all ranges, all distances are measured from the approximate center of the ship to the approximate center of the target ship. So it's normally flight stand to flight stand, since we have no flight stands. We're just going to go with a, a guesstimate from the middle of the ship to the middle of the ship. But in, in, in all angles, in terms of broadside, should also be measured from the middle where the post would be to where the post would be. This is clearly 6.3 inches from the between these two destroyers, so that's clearly at short range. If I select the Arethusa, or sorry, if I select the Calypso with my arrow, you should see a list of buttons at the top of the screen next to the arrow at the top of the map. If I want to fire at short range, I will click the fire short range button. If you look at the chat window, you'll see what that just did. <coughs> You'll see that the Calypso uh, fired uh, at uh, no main guns, so it got no results for the main guns. The medium guns got three successes, and uh, the, sh the uh, light guns got two successes. All right. You'll notice if you do the, if you if you look at the chat window, you'll see that it rolled seven six-sided dice for the medium guns, rolling a six five four three four one one two three four five six seven and a three. The six was re-rolled to generate a five. So uh, roll 20 has exploding dice for us, which is very nice. So, uh, and the, uh, if you look at the, where it says Andy B GM, where it says rolling 76 exclamation point, the exclamation point tells the system to explode um, on sixes and on the, on, the, on the six and greater than five says successes are five or better. So, uh, So that was three successes with the medium guns and uh, uh, two successes with the light guns, with the small guns, for a total of five successes, which would be five hits on the five hull boxes, first five hull boxes of the Arethusa. That's really cool you figured that macro out. How do you again determine your target? What's that? How do you determine your target again? Uh, well... You basically, you draw a straight line between the middle of your ship to the middle of the target ship, and okay. if uh, okay. if uh, you use this use this template to determine whether you are in the ninety degree forward arc or side arc, in the game in 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 on the tabletop, you would normally have your gun dice, so you would have the dice you rolled when you fired forward or aft, and not fired broadside. Rather than do that in this instance, we're going to have our successes. So you roll all your dice, but you simply half any successes you get. So if I had been firing at the Arethusa, where the Arethusa was here, and so I was firing through the forward arc of the Calypso, I would get half the successes round, rounded down. We're going to round down the half successes. So instead of five successes, I would get two successes. 
because because firing forward or aft arc is only going to have your results, have your successes. Make sense? Okay. Okay. But okay, so you actually you click on yours, then you move your little target thing to where no, you don't have to move the target thing at all. The target thing is just to help you if you need to know. Uh, so all I have to do, all I have to do is go. Okay, I take my ruler. I say, what's the range? I know the range is less than 10 inches, so I know I'm in short range because short range is always 10 inches, medium is always out to 20 inches, long range is always 30 inches. Okay, so so I know I'm within 10 inches. So I know that in the when I select the ship, you'll see a row of buttons at the top of your screen. You know you're firing at short range, so just cl click on the fire at short let's range. Say there's two or three, let's say there's two or three ships you in range. How do I know which? How does it know which one I'm shooting at? It doesn't. You don't. It doesn't care. You're just going to apply the damage. The the owner of that ship's going to apply the damage. It doesn't care what you're firing at. Oh, okay. You just pick. Oh, okay. You just pick the ship that's shooting. You pick. You worry okay. about your ship. You select your oh. ship. Your ship. Right, okay. And it's going to take. If I click on the calypso. So you have you have to determine what the range is. Okay, that's yeah, good. Yeah, you have to manually determine the range. Okay. On the if I click on the calypso, I see the zero seven six. Okay, like we do with. Flames uh, uh, check your six or something else. If if, no, if one of those numbers has to be changed, you can click in it and subtract it. So let's say the again, how does it how does it know what arc you're firing through? It doesn't. You, right. have, to, you have to you have to you determine that. You determine that. You have okay. to determine that. Right. So what I'm okay. saying is, if you fire, if you if you know by using this little reticle, by using your eye. If you know that the Arethusa or the Calypso is firing at the Arethusa, the Arethusa is clearly in the front arc of the Calypso. All right. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. Yeah. So you know, yeah. so you still hit the button at the top that says fire at short range because it's still short range. Right. Okay. But you half, just half any successes. So any successes the chat window tells you you did, you're going to half that and round down. See, your your macros are good, Andy, but not, they're not great. Okay, well. They don't do everything. It's not a one-click shop yet. Oh, okay, okay. They gotta work. Yeah. <laughs> let's say, let's say, for example, uh, that we bring in a bigger capital ship, right? So let's say we bring in the battleship. I'm gonna put the Benbow there. Somebody wants to I'm gonna put the Benbow there, okay? And uh, the Benbow. Uh, let's say the Benbow is firing. I'm just gonna. I'm not even gonna. Worry about what its target is because it really doesn't sure. matter. Yeah. Let's say the ben, if the Benbow fires at short range, look at the chat window because if the Benbow fires at short range, I select the Benbow, I click the fire short range button, and if you look at the chat window right now, and the, you'll see a lot of D6s rolled across the screen, but you'll see what the Benbow did. The Benbow uh, firing main guns at short range got nine successes. At medium range, the medium guns. The medium guns at short range got four more, and its light guns only got one success because it only has five, five light guns. So 14 altogether. Yeah. 14 altogether firing a broadside. Seven if it were firing from the for to the forward or rear arc. All right? That's good. That's fine. Now, there are some ways in the game where you can use a command point to reroll two dice or to add two dice to your attack. That's what those buttons at the bottom of your screen are for. They allow you to roll a variable number of dice shooting for a, a certain result. So if you know you need a five or better at the range you're at with your guns and you want to roll, you can click on the question mark D6 explode five plus, And I can say I want to roll two more dice. And all I did was roll those two dices, those two dice, and you see that Two dice needing fives or better with exploding sixes. I roll two fives. I roll two fives and got two successes. So those three buttons at the bottom, those three buttons at the bottom are just, or four buttons at the bottom are just there to roll uh, extra dice or re-roll dice if somebody has to re-roll dice. Okay. Now, now that's good. All right. So now let's go back to the ship car. So that's shooting. Some of these ships have torpedoes. The French torpedo boats all have four torpedoes each. Torpedoes can be fired in salvos of two. Torpedo range is 10 inches or 14 inches. Okay. 
So let's just say uh, it, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't look at a it doesn't look at a, um, um, a circle value for this. But I'm going to just click on the Arethusa and pretend it has torpedoes. Uh, if I measure the distance to my target and I know that distance is within 10 inches, then once I've selected the Calypso, or, uh, I could go up to the top uh, row of buttons and I can click torpedoes at 10 inch range. So I can click on torpedoes at 10 inch range and say there are two of them. It defaults to two because most of the salvos will be two. So if I, it defaults to how many? It says two. So if I hit submit, it's going to fire two torpedoes and it sees that I got one success. Now, torpedoes, with gunfire, each success is a whole hit. With torpedoes, any hit is a 1d6 hit, a hull hit. So I got one torpedo slammed into the target. I roll a simple d6 using that question mark d6 at the bottom of the screen, and I just got four hull hits on the, on the target of that torpedo. So each torpedo hit does 1d6 hull damage. All right. And if you're shooting a torpedo at 14 inches, out to 14, you know, 11 to 14 inches, or from greater than 10, but less than or equal to 14, then you're going to pick the ship that you're shooting with, and you're going to click on the torpedo at 14 inches. And you need a six or better. You just need sixes, natural sixes to hit. All right. And uh, and they don't explode. These dice don't explode. They're just trying to get hit. Like, torpedo dice don't explode. Like, like gun hey, what's the difference between the 10, 10 inch again and the 14 inch? Torpedoes fired from 10 inches out to four. Torpedoes fired at short range, which is within 10 inches, hit on yeah. fives or sixes. Torpedoes okay. fired out to 14 inches, so greater than 10, but less than or equal to 14, hit on sixes. Sixes, that's, okay. That's the only difference between those two buttons. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This is the French. Like the torpedo boats have like four. Yeah, they have, they, they have four torpedoes each on those 14 French torpedo boats, but they're small, and they're, they don't take many damage. I think they take two hull hits, and they're dead, whereas these British destroyers are stronger, uh, and they're also more expensive, but they just have guns. Okay, yeah. let's go back to the One. Sh That's basic shooting. There are no – there are fighters. I, I There are no aircraft carriers. I didn't want to make it too complicated. However, the Benbow, the British Benbow battleship, has one flight of fighters. So there's one sop with camel token here that can launch from the Benbow that has six six hits to kill it, and it, each hit takes off one of its yellow yellow uh, dice. It has six short range or, or uh, small guns, and it flies at 12 inches a turn. Uh, so it can launch uh, the Benbow can launch fighters. But that's the only aircraft in the game. There are no rockets. We're just going to keep it simple with some torpedoes on the French side, and the rest are guns. Okay, so the other thing I want to demonstrate is is movement. So go back to the card for a moment. I'm just going to go back to the card. I'm going to explain the rest of the card. I'm looking at the Arethusa card again. In the Arethusa card, then you have uh, a the blue, but ne beneath the yellow, red, and orange gun turrets, you've got uh, a couple of other symbols. The blue uh, bomb-looking thing on the left, lower left, with a T in it, is the number of torpedoes the ship has. Obviously, the, the Arethusa has no torpedoes. The uh, B in the green bomb on the right-hand side is the number of bombs that the ship has. None of these have any bombs. This is not a bombing mission. The R in the gray bomb-looking thing to the far right are the number of rockets a ship has. We're not doing anything with rockets. The nine inches in the green engine that you see there is its movement. All lighter-than-air ships that aren't dirigibles or blimps, and we have no dirigibles or blimps in this particular game, all ships must move a minimum of two inches uh, forward. Uh, they can move one inch and then turn. They must move at least one inch to start turning, but they must move a total of at least two inches. Um, they cannot stay stationary. If if through through damage or whatnot they they find themselves slower than two inches, you always move at least one inch. But basically, minimum movement is two inches. Maximum movement is what's on the card. So the Arethusa. The Arethusas can move from two inches to nine inches, and they can accelerate or decelerate at will. Okay, there's no uh, in, a, in a single turn I can go from having moved two inches the previous turn to moving nine inches this turn. Okay. Okay. The, uh, and then in the next, at the very bottom of the card, there's the point point cost and 75 points for this ship, and then there's four little circles next to a man. That's for crew casualties if we were doing 
boarding, but we're not doing boarding. Uh, and every it, the only other thing is you'll notice on the right hand side of the car, the red side, the red uh, half, there are your hull boxes at the bottom. You'll notice a gear in the upper left corner with a white box next to the Arethusa, a little gear. That's repair. So um, if when you assign a if you assign a command point to a to a ship of the Arethusa class, and you choose during your your uh, activation of that ship to repair it, you can check off that box. Um, now you can't check off anything on the screen, but you're going to have to make a note on a piece of paper. Uh, you're going to have to record hull damage on a piece of paper for your ships because I don't, or print off print off what I posted on Discord um, to to check off, or just use a piece of paper and say, okay, I've taken, I've used up my repair. But basically, if you repair a ship, you check off, you use a command point, you check off that white box, you roll a D3, or roll a D6 and divide by two. And that's the number of hull boxes you can erase that you can claim back. So you can get back damaged hull boxes um, by uh, one to three of them if you if you repair. Not all ships can be repaired like that, um, but the Arethusas can. Okay, let's get on to movement. So if, knowing that I can move the Arethusa from two inches to nine inches in a single turn, and I also know that the Arethusa has a B turning gauge. If you look at the quick reference cards, Specifically, quick reference three, you'll see what the what the five turning gauges look like that we have when we play tabletop. And you see that they're marked off in one inch increments, and each inch of movement along those turning arcs moves you know, both moves you forward and turns you uh, to the left or to the right. Make sense? Right? Obviously, class A turns are tighter than class E. Um, every ship can always turn at a higher turn gauge. So the ships that class that have a class B, the class B ships can turn at class C or class D or class E if they wish. But a class B ship can't normally turn at class A using the, the gauge of the turn gauge of A. Except there is a way to spend a command point, which I'll get to in a minute, a command point which will allow you to turn one gauge tighter. Basically, a uh, you know, uh, a, you know, change, you know a emergency change of heading command that would allow you your ship to turn one gauge tighter, but you have to spend a command point to do that. So knowing that those are the gauges, you won't see any gauges on the screen because I've written the scripts to uh, to build to, to to take care of that. So for example, if I take the Benbow, the Benbow is a uh, it, the names of each ship. If you look at the the, you should all see the names above all the ships. The Benbow says Benbow, and then in parentheses, Class Benbow, and then 6D. That says it moves a maximum of 6 inches. That's its maximum speed that I've written in there, so you can just look at the name of the ship above the ship and know how fast it can move, maximum. And the D is its turn gauge, so you know it turns it D. So if I want to move the Benbow, all I do is select the Benbow, because it's my ship. I go up to the, the uh, buttons at the top of the screen, and I know it's a D gauge and I'm going to move D so I click move D move D asks me do I want to go straight left or right if I go straight and then hit 9 uh, 6 which is the maximum speed of the Benbow she will move 6 inches straight ahead I don't have to use a ruler to move her or anything like that on the other hand let's say I want to move 6 inches through a left turn I click move D I tell it I want a left turn and I tell it I want six inches. Through the magic of math, I figure out where that ship would end up if it turned through a left turn six inches along the D arc. So it's very simple to select a ship, click the move D, tell it you want to turn right, and then tell it how many inches you want to turn right. I'm going to move three inches right. That's where I would end up if I move three inches to the right. And now I want to turn left for my remaining three inches. And that's where I'd end up if I turn through a three inch arc to the left. Everybody got that? Yeah, seems. Yes, I don't know that I'm actually seeing most of what this is so that you're doing. Are you... Are you looking here at when I'm moving the ships? That could be part of the problem. I'm maybe not looking in the right place. Okay. All right. 
I've been, yeah, I've been, I've been looking, I've been doing everything down here with the British ships down here. So again, I've selected, okay. the, I've selected the Ben. No, let's say I select the Arethusa. Right. I select the Arethusa. It has a turn arc of B. It moves nine inches. If I click move B, and I tell it to turn left, and I tell it to move a full nine inches, it's going to come all the way around. You see how it came all the way around more than 180 degrees? Pointing in the opposite direction, it came. It did a nine-inch nine arc all the way around using the, the the turn gauge that I had before. That I that that is the B turn gauge. Uh, I'll do that again. Andy. Yep. Where 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 are they? Is there somewhere we can see them or? Uh, yeah. Um, well, here I'm going to share my screen. I am now live. In, I am now live in Discord. For those of you who want to look at Discord, or you can simply say at the top of the top of your screen, Barry, next to the arrow, you should see a row of gray buttons. It starts with fire at long range, fire at medium range, fire. Does anybody see those? those. I see those. That, yeah, you see those? Yeah. Those are the buttons. Those are the buttons I'm using. No. I understand the buttons, but do we just do one inch to see how much it is? Or I mean, is there a turning radius we can? Reference to know what the turning radiuses are. I did not put any turning radiuses in the game. You have to look at the. You're going to have to look at Quick Reference Three. Look at Quick okay, Reference quick. Three. And Quick Reference Three will show, oh, okay. will show you what the gauges look like. Oh, okay. There we are. That's yeah, I don't. Uh, <clears throat> I do not have those gray buttons. Okay, great. Okay, I see that. Uh, you need to select a ship. Uh, everybody, nobody will see a gray button, a, a row of gray buttons at the, at the top of the uh, map unless they select a ship. Damn. I selected a ship. I still don't see them. Oh, okay. Now I think I see it. All right. It, it should be right next they're to They're right. white. They're not even grayed out. Well, they're white. It depends on your, your the screen. If you look at my screen, if you're looking at uh, if you're looking at Discord, they're kind of light gray. It's they're okay. Right, they're right next to the blue arrow. The arrow. A tool. If you, that you, that you yeah, select. I've got them. Okay, so everybody should see those. So from left to right, they're firing at long range, medium, and short range, which is 10, 10 20, and 30 inches, and then five different movement gauges for straight left or right turns. Set heading will let you, if you're not sure, you know, like if I'm going, uh, if my ship is like this, and I go, you know, I really just want to move straight, straight north. Uh, I can just hit set heading and put in uh, zero degrees, and um, zero degrees is straight north. 90 is to the right, 270 to the left. So if you want to set the heading of your ship to 45 or 90 or, or you know something specific, that's what the set heading button will do. And then the torpe two torpedo buttons are just used by the French to fire their torpedoes. Does all of that make sense? Yeah. Anybody you sound less than convinced, Dan. Anybody have any questions at this point? Okay. Then let me let me uh, reset. I'll just put the ships back, and I'm just going to uh, quickly quickly talk about the sequence of play, uh, and we'll get into it. So uh, I'm just going to go overview the sequence of play. It's on quick reference one. Uh, I'm going to go over it really quick, and then we can and we'll divvy up sides, and we'll actually start. <clears throat> Uh, so, and feel free to ask questions if you if you want. A lot of the numbers are here on the card, but the buttons I've created make 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 life easier. Standard turn sequence is simple. Uh, there are well, first of all there are uh, uh, there's enough ships for everybody. Um, I've actually created uh, the French and the British each have two uh, sort of two force groups. Um, uh, somebody, I don't know. Uh, somebody, Brian or Barry, can you mute your mics? Somebody's making background, background noise, Brian. It, it's Barry. Barry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, if you mute your mic. Anybody who's got background noise. Anyway, um, first, first. Uh, so both sides have um, three, uh, two task groups, and then a command group. The command group is the battleship and a battle cruiser or heavy cruiser, and then it, and there's a couple of cruisers with with the light craft around them, and I've divided those up into three three groups each um so basically one player could take uh each of these groups so there's enough you know stuff there for six players easily and one two three four five six look at that we have six sitting in roll 20. um and um 
Yeah, I see uh, Inob. Uh, Inob. Somebody named Inob is in Discord. Uh, Inob, welcome. Can you hear me? I heard. I heard. I heard static uh, from Inob. Inob, if you'd like uh, to follow us in Roll Twenty, if you're not in Roll Twenty, uh, and I don't see you in Roll Twenty, if you look at the text chat hashtag Imperial Skies right above this voice chat, you'll find a link at the bottom of that text chat window with uh, the Roll20 link. And you can join us in Roll20 uh, if you like. Or you can watch my screen because I think I'm streaming uh, on my screen. And I'm also recording on OBS for later use. Okay, so um, in any event, the first step is to roll command a command roll. So a command roll for each group of, so each player is going to roll 1d6. That's the number of command points each, each captain will uh, get to allocate to his ships the commander of the british side and the commander of the french side the, the person who's f flying the battleship and its heavy support will get 1d6 plus one all right the commander's battleship on each side can allocate those command points within 30 inches of that battleship the center of that battleship all the other players will get 1d6 of command points each turn the beginning of each turn and those points can be allocated to the ships in your little group each ship can have no more than three command, command points assigned to it. We determine the first phase of a turn how many command points everybody gets. First, because you may choose to allocate some of your gotten command points specific, uh, to initiative. Because the very second phase of the turn is to roll initiative. Everybody rolls a d6. Everybody adds any command points they decide to commit to... Um, to initiative to try and move first move and shoot first because everybody whoever's moving moves all their ships their little group of ships and then they shoot all their ships and then the next the next side moves and shoots so it's not simultaneous um whoever's gets to move first gets to shoot first it's very simple command points then in the assigned command phase after initiative and everybody so all six players if there are six players all six players will roll initiative and this, and if they've spent some command points great and then we'll see who goes in what order. Um, if if the overall commander of the British and French side want to allocate some of their command points to help some of their players gain initiative, they may. Uh, some of their sub-commanders gain initiative, they may. But basically, once initiative is determined, we have the turn order, then everybody assigns command points just simultaneously. So whatever balance of command points each player has, they assign to ships. No more than three per ship. Uh, you can spend command points when you activate a ship to, to move or shoot it by looking, and you can look at the second handout, Quick Reference 2, which is a summary of the of the special commands that command points can be used with. All right. And in turn, in, in phase four, step four of the turn is activation. Going in initiative order, you will activate your ships. Ships can do basically two actions. They can move, and then they can shoot. Alternatively, if a ship doesn't want to shoot, it can move uh, effectively double time it's not double time it's one and a half time so if a ship has a movement of six inches maximum it could go nine inches so it could go 1.5 times its maximum speed if it if it forsakes any shooting in the turn all right so each player will activate his ships maybe spend some command points uh move his ships perhaps one to one and a half times his his maximum speed or whatever speed he wishes and then we'll shoot anything he has within range. Once a player is finished, we'll move on to the next player. To uh, Initially, you guys are so far apart, you could probably all move simultaneously. But when things get closer, we'll, we can break it down a little, a little finer. And finally, in cleanup, you're going to take off all the command points off the map uh, and all of that. Now, you're going to ask yourself, how do I assign command points and how do I assign damage? Well, I made that simple, too. Um, assigning command points, if you click on a ship, any ship, <clears throat> and you click on the orb, the, the sphere at the bottom of the, the bottom of the screen, at the bottom of the ship, not the gear, but the orb, you'll see uh, black and red dice. So the black dice are used to record command points. So if I take the Clio, which is here, and I choose to add two command points to the Clio, I'll put a black two next to the Clio. You see the black two? Marking the Clio with two command points. Okay, if the Clio, which is the Arethusa class, if the Clio um, should 
in future take damage. Andy, we lost you. Oh, hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find my Arethusa. Horizon calling. Hello. <laughs> yes, I'm trying to find my Arethusa ship card. It seems to have gone missing. Ura, hailing frequent. All right. So if you look at uh, if if you took say three hull damage to a ship like the Arethusa, you could select the Arethusa and and use the orb below the Arethusa and click on the three red die to indicate hull hit. So that communicates to people that the Arethusa or the Clio currently has got two command points assigned to it and three damage boxes filled in. Um, so that's that's one way to record damage on a ship is by using the red die <clears throat> to you know, just switch out the red dice until you total up the number of hull points you've taken and the black dice can be used for command points. All right. Um, let me clear the clear the it and then toggle them off again using the same capability on the uh, on the orb menu. Um, the command points themselves. If you look at quick reference two really quick, uh, again you can use them to gamble on initiatives. You can use a command point uh, from your pool to increase your chances of winning initiative. You can use it to stoke the fire, which will add three inches of movement. So. If you choose to stoke the fire with a command point, uh, you will move three inches uh, after either after you shoot. So you could move one times up to your maximum speed, fire all your guns and torpedoes, and then move an additional three inches if you have a command point to burn and wish to stoke the fire. Uh, we're not going to worry about group activation. Ignore group activation since we are all each player will have their own group of ships and will move that entire group when when that player activates. <coughs> So group activation, ignore. Repair, I mentioned that earlier. Spend a command point that you've allocated to that ship. Roll a D3, regain those boxes on your hull damage. Check off the little box or make a record of the fact that you used that capability on that ship. Out pipes, you get to reroll up to two gun dice when you shoot. You, you normally roll the largest guns. So if you have heavy, medium, and light guns, you're going to reroll the two heavy guns if, if you've got them. So uh, you just get to reroll those two dice and all other chances to hit apply. So if you've got two misses out of all your dice, you can use the buttons at the bottom of the screen and reroll two dice. Uh, out, that's out pipes. Screening. Screening allows smaller ships, A and B class ships, to absorb damage to for, from larger ships, D and E class ships. So if you were to, to sacrifice, you could basically, if you had uh, an A or a B class ship, uh, in between the gunfire of, of a shooting uh, enemy um, and able they, they're within four inches of the sh capital ship the, the your capital ship that's being shot at you could transfer the damage that that capital ship would take onto the lighter ships effectively costing them whole damage and probably blowing them up but saving the capital ship that's screening and that requires a command point spent on the capital ship uh, which wants to be protected um, honor showdown we can ignore hard over and brace for impact hard brace for impact you you have to spend a command point when you're being shot at um, and it's basically a reaction um, but you can't fire any weapons uh, in the turn so if you already took it your uh, activation because you want an initiative uh, and you already fired you cannot brace for impact but if you know you're going to get the hurt when the next player shoots you could Forgo your shooting and brace for impact instead by spending a command point. And then hard over, just as I said, spend a command point when you move. And you get, uh, if you've assigned it to that ship, and you get to turn turn a little bit tighter. So that's your command point summary of how you spend those command points. Otherwise, that's about it. Who would like to fight on which side? Any questions? One question. Uh, bombs versus torpedoes. There are no bombs. Little bits. There are no bombs in the game. Yeah, right, right. Or, or gunfire, I'm sorry, gunfire. Yes. All right, so I, oh, as okay. a naval guy, I yeah. fail to see the difference between letting the air out the top with guns and the air out the bottom with torpedoes. Okay. But I've, 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 that's my snarky comment for the night. Guns, 
guns fire at uh, uh, guns fired depending on the gun caliber fired from uh, from 10 to 20 to 30 inches with an increasing or decreasing chance to hit each successful hit each success is a hull box checked off the target so right pure and simple a torpedo is a single roll per torpedo needing either a five or six at 10 inches or a six out to 14 inches and if you get a hit with a torpedo, you roll a D6, and that's the number of hull boxes you check off. So you could you could end up firing two torpedoes that both hit and roll two sixes, and you check right, off 12 hull hits. Hull, and that's a little torpedo boat just did 12 hull hits on a battleship, which is significant. But you could also yeah. roll two ones and end up with... Well, like, like I said, the question's slightly snarky, but... I understand. I understand. Uh. Just, yeah, and aerial torpedoes don't make a lot of sense scientifically but hey this is stuff is all coated with lighter than air stuff so maybe they're just, they're just large missiles think of them as missiles not torpedoes as opposed to rockets but they call them torpedoes aerial torpedoes i don't know what that is but hey air to air torpedoes don't make a lot of sense but this is victorian science fiction now can these torpedoes only fire out of the front of the ship or yes, can it yes, in any yes. angle no no these are these are these are these are pt boats these are equivalent of pt boats. okay so they, they, they're not they're not cruisers uh, or battleships firing broadside torpedoes no this is uh forward arc only target must be in the forward arc okay as opposed to my question that was a good one good, good question all right, I'm looking for volunteers. Who would like to uh, command the the Royal Aer the Royal Aeronautical uh, or fight in the Royal Aeronautical Force? Battery low. Let's, don't 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 be shy. Uh, step up. I don't. Want are you asking who wants to be, wants to be Great Britain versus France? Yes, who wants to be Great Britain versus France? I'll I'll take Great Britain. Man. Great Britain. I have no idea for Glenn. Doing, but... I, I'll go anywhere, and Charging I and battery. I would just like an easy ship. So. Well, uh, say, okay. The, say the only here. easy day was yesterday. So, so Dory, you probably want Dory. Dory, you probably want the British, uh, uh, because you either want or you want the capital ships at the back and be the commander of one side or the other. That if you just want to be a a a, a sailor or an airman, uh, and not be in, in charge, then I would suggest the British because the British only have six ships in each in each little group. So, this is a group. This is a group of six ships. This is a group of six ships. This is the command element. These two ships for the third for the commander of the British side. This is a group of sixteen ships or eight uh, nine ships. This is a group of nine ships. This is a group of two ships for the French commander. So who wants to rob? British or French commander? Or do you want to be? Uh, I usually do best as a destroyer uh, commander on the French side. All right. so I don't want to be the overall, but all right. <laughs> no. I'll, I'll, I'll take the other French torpedo boat. That's Mike. All right, so Mike. There you go. So Mike, Mike and Mike, Rob Mike will and be Rob, the Mike hussers. And, yeah, Mike and Rob. Yes, Mike and Rob. You've got these two groups of uh, of torpedo boats together with their. Uh, the formidable, the, the four form. They each get two form, formidable light cruisers. I think they, they are. <clears throat> yes. Perfect. The formidable light cruisers. Who would like to be the French commander in charge of the uh, Charlemagne and the Loire? Do I have a French commander in, in, interested in French command? I'll be French commander. All right, Barry, you're in charge of the Charlem Charlemagne, the Charlemagne, the Charlemagne and the Loire. All right, so who would like to be in charge of the Benbow and the uh, Britannia? The English command ships. <coughs> I think, uh, Dory, you're going to be uh, handling the Atreus and the Athens, if you like, and the four, four destroyers in front of them. Um, who does that leave us with? Um, Brian, 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 and Dan, and Silas. And Silas, yes. what's he got? Okay, I, I wouldn't mind being just a small ship commander for this one. All right. So, uh, so Silas and Dan. Silas and Dan. It sounds like one of you is going to take the Benbow and one of you is going to take the Britannia, if that's okay. Or Dory, you can that take, works. Dory, you can take the Britannia. If you just want one ship. Yeah, I'll take one ship, and then they can have my. That's too many ships. 
All right. How about the? Can you, uh, Dory? Are you willing to take the Britannia and the Benbow? Yeah, two's better than All right. six. Well, that's that's going to be an interesting thing because that's our two big ships. Are you okay? With yeah, those are our battleships. Are you okay with that, Dory? No. Uh, or if somebody else wants to take one of the other ones, I'll take one. It doesn't. I'm I'm open. Yeah, I don't care. What, I'll tell you what. Dory, take the Britannia. Uh, Silas, if you want to take the uh, Benbow, and Dan, you want to take uh, one, the other patrol group, the uh, the Athens, I and guess. the Athens and Atreus, and its four destroyers. Okay, everybody know. What I guess so. Everybody know what they're doing as far as what they're uh, flying. And and Silas, you are the Silas the Benbow, the Benbow has uh, the Cussler Cussler squadron, uh, a squadron of Sopwith fighters, which I'll explain. Uh, when you actually cool. Cussler your, your Squadron. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, Rob, do you want the Northern Fleet or the Southern Fleet? Okay. Good. All right. So, <laughs> I need. I need. Okay. So, to get off with, the, start with the first turn. I need each player to roll a d6. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna I'm gonna create a turn tracker, and I'm gonna put in the order. And everybody should see the turn tracker. So go ahead and roll a d6. Everybody just roll a d6. The commanders, the French and British commanders, need to roll a d6 plus one. Oh. Okay. It did. Uh, did, 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 did I join right now or? No. Barry, you should call for a French captain's meeting on the other channel. Oh, uh, yeah, these are for command points. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, you guys can go go talk. Assuming I know how to do that, yeah. <laughs> Barry, you want red or blue? Is there? Um, he has to be blue. To be blue. All right, All right, Frenchies, go to blue. You know, French going to blue is like a given. Yeah, I gave the blue ships to the French and the red ships to the British. Okay, let's, let's okay. see if I can get that sorted out then. Uh, is that Nicholas? Uh, yes. Okay, Nicholas. Uh, which uh, which you like to uh? We have a we have a, a French ship you could command if you like. Yeah, I, there, there's there's lots of small French ships, so I, I I think I can I can take a I I can take a couple of those. Yeah, talk to uh, talk to Barry or uh, or Mike or Rob. Okay. Right? They're, the, they're the French commanders, and uh, I'm sure that you guys can figure out how to command the ship, the various ships. I'll admit I'm a little confused now. Which ships do I have? Dan, I believe you have. Uh, I believe you have. Uh, these. I think he has the yeah the Agamemnon. You see, you see, uh, you either it's your choice either yeah. this group or this group. Because Dan, I think you have, matter. you have one group, and I believe Brian has the other group. Yeah, and they're exactly the same. Yep. They're just named the same classes of ship. Just named. Well, them. let Dan take the A group then, and I'll take the C group. You know, Cleo, Calypso. That's fine. Yeah. So you've got Calypso and Cleo, and I got the Arethra, Arethra, Arethusa, and uh, Aphrodite. Yeah. And then Dory's going to command the Britannia, and Silas has got the Benmo. Okay, so uh, make a note on a piece of paper somewhere how many command points you've just rolled. Those are the dice you, those are the you rolled over on the right hand side. Now I was supposed to roll d6 plus one, right? Uh, well, whoever's commanding the Benbow should roll a d6 plus one. Actually, uh, uh, actually, Silas. Dory, Dory, you and Silas are one group, so you just need to roll one d6 between you. I've seen, I see that Silas has already rolled a four. So don't worry, Dory, about rolling. Uh, actually, okay, so three. 
You rolled a three, so we'll we'll take Silas's four. It's larger. So Silas and plus Jerry, one. Yes. So that's five. So Silas and Jerry, you have five command points to spend. And, okay. and 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 because you're the overall commanders in your group, those five command points can be spent on your two ships, or you can dole some of them out to some of the other ships. You can give them some of the other those your other two uh, junior commanders in those other two groups. As long as they're within, as long as their two capital ships are, or one of their two capital ships is within 30 inches of your battleship, you can allocate some of your points to those groups if you don't want them all. But those five points, you can't put more than three on any given ship. So the Benbow could take three and the Britannia could take two, or they could, each could have two points and then you could throw some at the uh, smaller, the other captains. Or. You may save one point for initiative. You may want to add two points to initiative because the next thing we do when that group, when the other the other guys come back, is we're going, everybody's going to roll initiative. You have to decide if any of those five command points are going to add, be added to initiative. Uh, Dan, Brian, you both have uh, rolled command points already, right? Brian has two. Dan yeah. has rolled three. So you get yep. to decide which ships get those two command points or whether you want to use them for initiative or not. Can be first. It's, right. Or, and, and so we get command points at the beginning of each turn sequence, turn, correct? Correct. At the beginning of every turn, everybody gets command points and allocates them. And then if you don't burn them, if you don't use them during the course of the turn, you you lose them. And you regenerate the command points at the beginning of the next turn. So they don't carry over from turn to turn. They're just they're just uh, extra po you know, capabilities you can use throughout the turn. But you have to pre-allocate where those points go as far as which ship gets them. You don't have to you don't have to predetermine what they're used for, but you have to predetermine which ship is allocated the command point. And then when actually the ship, ship or can, can we use a battle group? Uh, you're you're assigning them to each ship. Okay. So if if Dan only Dan only rolled th three, he can only use he can only put one on three one on each of three ships or he can put all three on one ship. Totally up to him. But he's got three points to spend on five ship on six ships. Hey, that's still better than what Brian did. Yes. Brian's got two points to spend. But, 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 but Dory, you and Silas could decide of your of your five points. You could give one of those five points to to uh, Brian, to so that he has three and that Dan has three. And then they, you know, that's up to you guys whether you think you need all five of your points. Um, all, you know, your capital ships are only moving uh, six inches for the Benbo and eight inches for the Britannia. You might want to spend a point for each of them to do uh, all ahead full, which would give you three inches of extra movement. They're not planning to shoot this turn because they're not going to be within 30 inches of the British, uh, of the French. So the Benbo and the Britannia giving up, the Benbo giving up and shooting. Is going to get to move nine inches straight ahead, and if it spends a command point, three more inches. So that's 12 inches as the Benbow puts everything it can into its engines and plows 12 inches ahead. Because one and a half times maximum movement, if you don't shoot, is nine inches, and then three inches more for stoking the fire by spending a command point on the Benbow will get it 12 inches ahead. And so who's in the British side? That's Dan and who else? Brian. 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 And Dan, you rolled two points and Brian, you rolled three? No, no other way. I got two. Yeah. Brian's got two and Dan's got three. And yeah, I, I'll say, Silas, let's give uh, Brian another point and then we can split the... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, if you're not going to do anything else with them, you might as well give them out. Right. If you're only going to do what he's suggesting and stoke the fire, yeah. and then you need one point for go side. ahead flank, yeah, that's three. You have at least three points to dole out. Right. Right. Exactly. Now that's if, assuming you don't spend any points on initiative. At this point, you guys don't care who wins initiative because everybody's so far away. So I wouldn't spend anything on initiative. In fact, I'd have just assume they win. Well, yeah. First turn. Yeah. Because. So, so Think. Do you want to just spend some more, uh, one point each on our engines, and then give the other ones out to the forward groups? Well, that way we can go faster. More of your ships. Yeah. Could, more of your ships could go faster. Yes. 
Okay, well, Silas is not answering, so I'm making a command decision that that's what we're going to do. So we'll give another point to Dan and another point to Brian, and then the bid. So we both Bimbo have four. And, yes, the Bimbo and Britannia will keep one point each to spend on their engine for movement. Okay. So when they when they, when the when the French come back, we're going to roll initiative. No, you, none of the British are spending any points on, towards initiative, and they're, and after initiative is determined, that's when you then the next phase you're going to allocate those points, and that's when you're going to hand them off to to Brian and Dan, and then Brian and Dan can allocate them to ships, and you guys can put them on the capital ships, and then we'll get on to activation. So we're yeah, and if Silas doesn't agree, oops, too bad. Yeah, you made a command decision. That's cool. That's right. Robbie, are you guys, are you guys back? You ready? Here is right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll spend all of our money, so don't worry. We're good. <laughs> okay. Tipping our champagne and eating. Curry. No, they're 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 um buying doing their rum ration. Can everybody can everybody on their screen see the turn order window? Did you guys see a turn order window pop up on your screen? Yes. Yeah, with all zeros. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, so everybody does. Okay, so everybody has rolled their. Is everybody rolled one d six? Or one d six plus one to create command point a command point pool. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Everybody, all right. Great. Now the next phase phase two of the turn is initiative. If anybody wants to spend any of those command points to increase their initiative, but at this range across the map, there's no point in winning initiative one way or the other. Just everybody roll a d six, and that's going to be the turn order, and any ties will get rerolled. And if you're spending points, normally if you spend points command points for initiative, they just add to the die roll. So the first roll was our command points. So, yes. uh, right, so like I somewhere. rolled a write three, I got a three. Write them down somewhere. That's how many command got points it. you have. Now you're rolling initiative. And if you want to spend some of those command points to increase your initiative, which might become critical later when everybody's close to each other, you could. But right now, it doesn't probably matter for initiative. So do we highlight our name and turn order to you don't have get to. I'm, you don't have to i'm just going to sort you don't have to i'm just going to sort people in in turn order got it. See it so uh i rolled a three okay so i see the highest roll is chickaboom anybody beat a five no i haven't rolled hold on okay dory's at the top of the list at the moment anybody uh, hold on who's rolled Chickaboom, Brian. I haven't rolled. Um, okay, so I just roll one dice for my whole group, right? Yeah, you just roll yeah. one, one die per player. One die per player. Dad rolled a five. I rolled a five. I uh, tied Dory. Silas, Dory, and Dan all rolled fives. Barry, Mike, and Rob all rolled threes. Nicholas rolled a one. He's at the bottom. Yeah. Brian, what did you roll? Brian rolled a three. I rolled a three. Silas rolled a five, so Silas is up there. Oh, I already put Silas up there. Okay. Why is Silas in there twice? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Dory, Silas, Dan, Rob, Mike, Barry, Brian, Nicholas. Anybody missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven. That's right. Okay. So, uh, Dory, Silas, Dan. You need to re-roll because I think you all rolled fives. Dory, Silas, Dan, you're rolling off at the top of the list. You know what? Actually, at this point, why don't everybody just move? I mean, everything is so far away. That probably won't I was going to say, we're, all, all three people you said are British, so yeah, what difference does that make? make all right, so allocate your command points. So nobody's going to – nobody. it doesn't really matter at this point. We'll, we'll worry about turn order later um, <clears throat> as things get closer. So allocate your command points to your ships. Use the black dice. Do you save command points between turns or no? No, no, no. no. So, so uh, Silas, I gave each of our ship a command point to put toward engines so that we can uh, stoke the fires and add three inch, three inches to movement. Okay. You just communicated what you're doing to the other side, but that's cool. So yeah. Brit British, British are using open radio frequencies. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you're using a black die. To, uh, Holy cow! To to, to uh, add a command point to a ship, or more than one command point to a ship. Just and the, the commanders can allocate command points to other players, right? Yes, if you're within, if if they're if they're within thirty inches of the battleship, which clearly they are. All right, <clears throat> Andy. Yes. I cannot click Athens and Arter Arteris. Art. Uh, 
Uh, Arturus. Uh, okay. Uh, you're right. Atreus cannot be selected. No, it can. And anybody else have any problems with a ship controlling a ship? Britannia. Let me know and I will make sure. Athens. Yep, Athens works now. Britannia. Britannia works now. Anybody else? Wait, so where do I... Where do I get the black dice? The, the orb or sphere. Click on the ship and click on the sphere. I got it. Okay. Um, who has Thebes and Agamemnon on the British side? Because if that's me, I cannot choose them. Yep. Then I need to. Yeah, it's you. That's you. Uh, hold on. I'm fixing I got. That. Okay, I got Agamemnon. I'm fixing that, Brian. I, 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 okay. I, uh, you, are, you should have them both. There. You should be able to select all. Yep. All your ships. We're good. Anybody else on the Are French? We? Anybody on the French side can't select any ship. We're moving, right? Uh, no, you're allocating your command points. Well, uh, you have. We haven't selected uh, any. Nicholas, you're allocating. Command Nicholas, points. you're on the French, right? Uh, yeah, but since, since I'm done, I, I, I think, I think best thing I can do right now is to bow out because because uh, I, I'm get I'm getting calls to join for dinner. So. All right. Uh, I'll be, since 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 I don't have don't have anything commanded yet, I think this would be this oh, okay. would be the perfect time. Who's the other? Who's the who's the French uh, cruiser commander? Well, that was Nicholas. Oh, that was Nicholas. Okay. Well, I guess you two take uh, each of you have an, I guess you guys are back to nine ships. Well, or we have another player. We're better. How is it the French have so many ships? Uh, no. All right, takes more to equal us. That's it. Yeah, they're smaller ships. Oh. Okay. So everybody should have allocated their command points to their ships with the little black dots. Is everybody done, done that? Command? Okay. So if everybody's done that. Uh, Bob and uh, each of the French players have an extra command point. I'm giving you each one extra. All right. Okay. All right. So once. Okay. Done. Dory, Dory, and Rob, you each have another one. Okay. I had four. I used one each on mine, and I'm giving the others to you. So, if everybody's allocated their command points on uh, their ships, then go ahead and move your. You can go ahead and move all your ships. Remember, select a ship. Uh, uh, you can actually select more than one ship. Um, I believe I haven't tried that, but you can try selecting several ships, and yeah, and, sh and if you click. Uh, the appropriate uh, gate, you know, uh, move move button, and hit straight, and then enter a value. Uh, it will move straight ahead all the ships that are selected. So you selected. undo a, a move that was a mistake. You cannot, unfortunately. You'll have to drag them back. I I'm trying to do uh, negative values. Is there anything you, you can adjust? Because no, you can't do a negative move. You can't you can't move backward with negative move. You just have to drag the ships wow. back to where they start, I'm afraid. Okay. That's close enough. If anybody needs help moving, uh, I'll explain again. You can also you can also always move manually just by using a ruler and dragging the ship like we do with a lot of the other games. But those buttons so, make movement a lot easier. We've only got you, me, and Mike. So how many extra points did you give us? In one to Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. Is Mike in? Who's the other and Mike? Player? Me. Well, we just Mike. lost Nicholas. It's Mike West and me. That's it. Oh, Mike. Oh, I'm sorry. Dory was on. No, I thought it was Dory was on. Okay. No, Mike and Rob each have one extra point. Mike, Besides, what? Mike, Rob, and Barry. You three are the French, right? Mike, Rob, and Barry. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. So Mike and Rob have a one extra point from me. Plus what you rolled yourself. I'm using one myself for each Got other it. ship. Can we add two command dice to a ship? You can add two command points. Andy. You can add, Rob, you can add up to three command points to a ship. Okay, but, great. But but you can't use you can't you can't use two command points to think for the same act. Like you can't do the same command twice. You can't use two command points and move six inches. Uh, okay. I gotcha. Each command point can only be. I can't stoke one. the fires twice. No. So where where's the list of command Got points? It. Quick reference two. Where's the list of command Page points? Page two of the QRS. Page two of the Page QRS. Two of the QRS. I have a pay quick reference one and quick reference three in the 
journal. There's a quick reference too there, unless I don't have. Oh, it looks like I don't have it visible to everybody. Hang on. I'm sorry. Yeah, I have one and two, but not three. Uh, no, there you go. <laughs> hey, Silas, do you know how to talk private message, chat private message in Discord? Let's see. I still don't see a uh, quick reference to Hold Andy. On. Hold on. Hold on. Discord. Go to Discord. It's all there. No, it's okay. It's now in your journal. I'm sorry. Quick reference to. Whoa. Why, why did it go away? Hold on, guys. Quick reference to is not sticking. Oh, it is. Can be edited. Oh, oh All players. Save changes. There we go. There you go. I'm sorry, guys. Quick reference to is now visible to all players. That is the command point summary. Much better. Everybody's moving their ships. <coughs> now, uh, Silas, the Benbow. If you wish to yes, launch, if you wish to launch the Sopwith Squadron or Air Group, you may place that Sopwith uh, Squadron within four inches of the center point of the Benbow. Okay. Uh, the stop with then flies 12 inches a turn in any direction. Ne it needn't it needn't use a turn arc. It just moves with, within 12 inches in any direction, up to 12 inches per turn. Okay. And how many separate ships can? How many separate targets can we target? Technically, each ship. In a... it, technically, each ship can split its shooting uh, uh, against two targets. Okay. No more than two. Got it. And Silas, don't forget that you have one um, point, command point, that you can use on your ship. Yeah. Oh, come on. So, if all you're doing is spending a command point to go stoke the fires, then you clearly are moving, and you're not shooting because you're far without out of range to shoot. You're moving one and a half times your maximum speed and adding three inches to that. Make sense? So, the Hussar class ships get to move 15, 18 inches, right? 10, one and a half times 10 is 15, and then three more inches is 18. So the Hussars could have all moved mm -hmm. 18 inches from their starting location, had they wanted to. And they spent a command, it, for those who spent a command point. If you didn't have No, I thought one and a half, I thought they could move 10. The Hussars oh, have our base. speed of 10. Ba base is so 10. So one and a half. So you get one, fifth you know, dude. Yeah. Plus the command point and stoke the fire, we go eighteen. Right. If you if you had the for the ones that had the command point, can go eighteen. Eighteen. The ones Correct. that didn't have the command right. point only go fifteen. If Got they, it. If they're not shooting. Correct. I'm trying to find the formidable bit of bit of Okay, so that means that I get four more inches. And where where do you get the? I see, for example, on the Hassard, it has a speed of. The distance of 10, right? It's the maximum speed is 10. Well, Ma how do you get... Speed. Maximum base speed. So if you, right. move, if you move and then shoot your guns or your torpedoes, you're limited to no more than 10 inches. If you, if okay. you, if you choose not to shoot at all after your movement, you can move half, half again. You can move 15 inches. Oh, oh okay. For free. It's, you give up. If you're not shooting, you get to move faster. Oh, okay. Okay, and, so I get and, to if you, and then if you stoke the fires with a command point, that's three more. Okay. So, so if I do, if I do, uh, I got a five inch movement. Yeah. I do the so that's flank seven, ahead. That's seven and a half if you're not shooting, and then and then three more is technically. So it's ten, ten and a half. half. Yeah. Okay.
I don't know if it did that. Everybody finding the movement buttons easy to use? Yes. Very much so. Yeah, I like those. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Just uh, you know, drag, drag a ruler out and try and figure out where, uh, uh, where to end up and place your ship. No, I like this better. You're getting you're getting good with the macros. Ships, by the way, sh these ships are rotating on their center points. So when they do rotate through a, through a movement arc, when they turn left or turn right, they are pivoting, they are moving an inch forward rotating on their center, then moving another inch, then rotating on their center, then moving another inch, then rotating on their center. So if I told it to move four inches along a given arc, I'm dividing up, I'm, I'm, I'm literally moving the ship, turning it, moving the ship, turning it, moving the ship, turning it. I gave up on trying to figure out the trigonometric formulas of a curve to do a smooth translation of the ship. Um, that goes beyond my pay grade here. Scenario question. Yes, sir. Uh, this is not a Hornblower and the Hotspur type scenario. We know we're at war with each other, right? Well, you're in an uneasy peace. But clearly somebody's been causing ships to disappear in this region. So you naturally are blaming each other. So there's no penalty for opening fire first or anything like that? No. Well, there may be back. Only if you do it, Brian. But not, well, but that's not, but, uh, but not in scenario. But I'll miss, so it doesn't matter. We know it's the sneaky French doing it. Brian, so. we're on a maritime patrol, and we'd like you to hub to and stand by for uh, safety inspection. Yeah, the, Suez, the, Suez, the, Suez, that's it. the Suez Canal is, is British. Is, uh, well, yeah, it is British held. So. We need to check your bill it definitely of Definitely is. Please, please hub to. Yeah, just check your bill of lady. No, the French are kind of trespassing here. It's international waters. What are you talking about? I thought the French built the Suez Canal. No, all waters are British waters, sir. They're <laughs> between the air or flying. The French stole the British. Is anybody done? Is everybody you can done? be in the water. Is everybody I got done? one more to move. All right. Let me know when you're done movement. moving. Uh, Let's get the. We can move on, move on to turn two, and you should be, you just should come clear your command points from your ships that have them now because they're we're gonna move on to turn two here in a second. There's gonna be no shooting because those light craft in front don't have any uh, any big guns. Andy did a great job painting your miniatures. Uh, I yeah. So. Yeah. Unfortunately, Robin Robin Fitton said uh, this morning that he found all of his art for the rule from the rule book that he had an artist he had an artist render or paint uh, draw you know draw up uh, top down views on all, a bunch of ships that he used in the rules, and uh, he was going to send me all the original art to import into Rule Twenty. It just came late, so I found uh, I found uh, a, a PNG pack that somebody had done steampunk ships in uh, in a Rule Twenty marketplace. Four dollars and ninety nine cents later, I've got all these uh, PNGs. I'm assuming there's no penalty for parking on top of one another. No, no, no. no. There's no altitude, but there's no ramming or, or collision. Everybody done moving? I'm just trying to get my dice off. Yes. Uh, okay. All right. So we're going to, uh, there's nothing to really clean up. You should have removed your command points. We're going to move on to turn two. Turn two. Everybody, all, all players, each player is again going to roll phase one for command points. So the two, the two commanders, the French and British commanders, should add one to their die so they get at least one command point. All the other players just roll one d six and write down how many command points you have. Don't don't allocate any. Don't allocate any yet. Just make a note of how many you have for the turn. Oh, 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 oh. Make a note of how many you have for the turn. Um, and since there are so many players, and 
Since, Way to go, Salas. Since there are so many players, and since um, and since uh, uh, so many of you are, are seem to be able to roll the same number on a D6, I'm going to have everybody roll a D10. That will spread the numbers out a little bit and make it easier to see who goes first, who goes second, who goes third, and have fewer rerolls. So uh, here in a second, after everybody's got their command points generated. You're talking about for the initiative? Yes. So now you have all your command points written down for how many you have for the turn. You should have done that by now. Now, decide before you roll initiative. Now we're moving into phase two. Phase two, decide before you roll initiative. Any of your points going to be spent on on, uh, on initiative. And if so, erase them from your your list, your your pool. Otherwise... Barry, are you giving us any points? Uh, yes, I will be. Um, when you say initiative, now that's what, to move and fire? Or? Yes, that is to move and fire. Um, if you want to allocate initiative oh. points now, you can allocate. You can allocate the commander. The overall senior commanders on the both sides could allocate points to their subordinates now, in case they need. Mike and Rob. Them. Mike and Rob, you each mm -hmm. get. You have a total of three from me. Okay. Oh, an additional. Uh, Mike. Mike, why don't you take them? Uh, I rolled a six, man. Yeah, me too. So I, I don't need. All right, you take two. You take two, Mike. I'll take one from Barry. So you get eight, and I get seven. Okay. So now I want all of you to roll d tens. Add whatever initiative. Add whatever if you want to spend any command points on on adding ones. To, you know, pips to those d tens. You may. And we're just gonna roll d ten. So I see. Okay. So. Brian, Barry, so Rob's got nine. Barry, Brian. Rob, Barry, Brian. Go ahead, Andy. Go ahead and add three to mine. Add three to yours, Brian? To my initiative, yes. Uh, do you do that after you roll? Or, uh... Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good question. Do you do that after you roll? Or... Uh, you're supposed to commit them before you roll, normally. Well, I, okay. Still, take three. Okay, so Brian gets an eight. I'm just going to write these down. Let's see. Yeah, eight. There we go. Brian gets an eight. Rob, you rolled a... Niner. Niner. Okay, why don't you read them out for me so I know. Barry, what'd you roll? I rolled nine. You rolled a nine. Not any. Okay. Dory, what'd you roll? A three. Dory rolled a three. Silas, what'd you roll? A four. Dan, what'd you roll? A five. Mike, what'd you roll? A four. Nick, uh, and Nicholas is not in, so I'm going to get Nicholas out of here. Okay. And then we're going to sort these A to Z. Whoops. We'll sort these Z to A. Okay. I got Barry 9, Rob 9, Brian 8, Dan 5, Mike 4, Silas 4, Dory 3. So Barry and Rob, you need to reroll. We're on the same team. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, fine. Mike and Silas, you could reroll. We reroll in Just D10s or yeah, D6s? D10s is fine. Two. Awesome. All right. Mike rolled an eight, Silas rolled a two. So the I rolled a ten. I rolled a D twenty. So I guess that doesn't count. Uh, yeah. You're eight, you're eight, you're eight, your eight, your eight was the first roll, Mike. You're fine. Okay. You beat Silas's two. Okay, that's the standing order. So Barry, you're going first. Rob, you're going as well. So Barry and Rob, they could basically and Brian, let's see, Brian, you're on the uh, so the, the Barry and Rob you could go ahead. Can, can you turn down initiative? Uh, you mm -mm. Well, no, you're not supposed to. Oh, okay. So you're stuck uh, with it. Unfortunately, you're not supposed to. There's no rule for that, uh, so no. And we go to uh, British and French channels briefly to discuss something? You may. Sure, we do. Surrender is an option. <laughs> That's a French. That's a French command decision. I suppose, I suppose, I suppose Barry, 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 
to answer your question, you can. I'll, I'll tell you what. This is not in the rules, but you can spend command points to subtract from your die rolls. So if you want to subtract from your die rolls to get lower initiative rolls, so you can go last, that's a command point decision. But you have to spend command points to reduce your initiative roll by one for each point. You guys don't want to get together, or I don't. If you guys want to? We can. <clears throat> no, I'm fine. I know what I'm doing. I'm good. I've broken out the uh, the claret, and we're going for it. Okay, let's go. Mike, did you get my private message? Probably not. Okay, it's in your and chat. What, am I in? Andy, it's uh, center to center on firing or? Center to center. Uh, it should be in your chat on. log, Mike. I see it. I'm I'm looking now in uh, Roll20 chat. Center of ship, center of and, ship. And it's pretty obvious because I'm moving my ships like I described. Yeah. Got it. Uh, it's a cunning plan. <laughs> I'm. Uh, you are. You are very cunning. I'm so. I don't trying. know if it's I, gonna the, work. The, the turns were a little sharper. Even a one point turn. Was yeah, I, I noticed that too. I was like, uh, "Whoa!" Holy you shit. know, you, you last turn, a class, Mike. A class you, A. A class A ship turns forty five degrees on a one inch move. Uh, yeah, but we can move as a class B, yeah. C, D, E. Yes. We can choose to do that. Yes, you can uh. choose to turn less, less tight. Absolutely. A is the tightest turn. Because All right. Can, yeah, I may, I may not be doing too much more of that. that. That was not as subtle as I was looking for. Like, holy crap. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. I just didn't get time to, but I appreciate that perhaps having turn gauges on the screen just so you can eyeball what the turn turns would look like would be useful, but I just haven't, haven't created the turn gauges yet. Uh, you learn quick enough. Yeah. You can, like I said, refer to, refer to the reference and you can see how tight the turns are. Yeah. And part of it is... So we're just Barry and Rob are moving, right? So we're waiting yeah. for Brian. Barry, Rob, and Brian. Brian is yes. Barry, Rob are finishing their movement, and Brian is up. Brian, Dan. Uh, let's see. Brian and Dan are on the same team, so Brian and Dan could both move together, and then Mike, uh, Mike and Silas, and then Mike can move, and then Silas and Dory can move together at the very end. So, yeah. As soon as uh, Barry and Rob say they're done, then Brian and Dan, why don't you guys go ahead and move together? Although a few people are still in the two people are in the red side chat. chat. Move a question, Andy. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I think I just figured it out just from thinking it out. Okay. You'd simply, if you wanted to move something that wasn't an arc but wasn't completely straight, you'd simply tell it to the, the heading you want to go. Correct. Yeah, you tell you want to go straight instead of left or right, and you can, as we said, you can always turn. You can always use a a, a larger a larger turn radius. Right. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking about adjusting a formation. I see. Yeah. Yeah, you you don't have to move full speed. You can move anything from two inches all the way up to maximum speed. Yeah, but at maximum, well, you can still shoot at maximum speed, but if you stoke the boilers, you can't fire. Yes, yes, if you, uh, yeah, yes, if you stoke the fires, you cannot fire, you cannot shoot, correct. So, so, so the Arethus, the, the uh, Arethusas can't move more than nine inches It's uh, if, they wa if they want to shoot it. Actually, they could move, they could, they could, uh, 
they can stoke the fire and get three inches of movement um, before or after shooting. It's the one and a half. It's the it's the uh, one and a half. Times. Okay, so full speed. Full speed is yeah. Full speed is not not, not possible if you're going to shoot. But stoking the fires is is plausible if you spend a command point to do it. Mike, I'm sending you private mail. Barry, Rob, are you done moving? Okay. I uh, know. I'm just. Uh, I'm just uh, still thinking here. Okay. Whoa. Chickaboom, what are you doing? Yeah, I don't know what happened there. That wasn't right. Put uh, put, put the Britannia back. Uh, right. Somebody's been in the rum ration. Yeah, you, you shouldn't be moving yet anyway. You put the Britannia back where, where you think it was. It's all beer and pretzels, so it's not exactly where it was before. That we'll, 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 we'll... You can put it where we're close to wherever it was, because I don't remember. That's fine. Wherever you put it is where it was. Sorry. Rob, do you remember where it was at? Brian, I don't know if that's uh, your background noise. I hear kids. That's mine behind a closed door, so yeah. Uh, they'll... No worries. What you need, buddy? Okay. All right. All right. Barry, you still moving? Yeah. All right. Uh, can we back up? No, I guess not. You'd have to you'd have to drag the ship back and rotate the ship manually back to where you think it was. <laughs> yeah, that's too much work. Okay. I'm sorry. You can, I'm sorry. I don't have a reverse or an. Under I can't. Andy, uh, I'm going off comms for a beer refill, but I've already moved. All right, Rob. Thank you. Yeah, so Silas, when you move the fighters, they get to move 12 inches, and then they have a 10-inch shooting range, obviously, with their light guns, so small guns. Yeah, I've been measuring. I, I, I see that. Oh, I thought it was hidden. <laughs> uh, no, uh, well, it may be hidden. Uh, well, maybe it's not, just not hidden to me. Oh. Your quick reference sheet here, I don't have in any of my books a quick reference to. I made quick reference to by, by cobbling together some images from the Imperial Skies book and made my Okay. To. Yeah, it's not an actual quick reference to the book. Okay, that's reassuring. <laughs> yeah, you're not missing anything. I just had to create, I just figured out we needed that information. Hey, do you have any of the stats on the new ships he put out in December? Um, I don't. Uh, I Look at the U.S. I, yeah, I he put out some new ones, Glenn, uh, but I don't know how far in advance he did. I got those about midsummer, so I don't know what they included. <clears throat> Rob, you with us? Are you uh, you went away for a beer, a beer run. Oh, uh, okay. I've got to go uh, move a dog around. So if it's my turn to move, Rob can move me. Got he it. knows what I'm doing. All right. My guys are marked. My guys moved. You guys have all moved. Okay. Cool. I'm going to refresh my game real quick. There we go. Okay. All right. So Barry has moved. Rob has moved. Brian, Dan, you're up. Go ahead and move and move everything and shoot it. If you if you shoot, if you got them. Because I don't think the uh, I don't think the, the French are shooting the French aren't shooting anything. I don't think. Uh, well, let me see. I don't think I'm in range. Well, uh, well, I'm not shooting anything. No, I'm not, not shooting. Well, yeah, 
Yeah, your battleship is in range. It's way, way. I'm not doing anything. Okay, okay, okay. Because I, I did my extra movement. Oh, if I had done my extra I got you, I got you. All right. All right. So, yeah, so uh, Brian, Dan, you're up. <clears throat> so now you have to decide if those command points you put all over your ships are going to be used to speed them up by three inches or give you uh, re-rolls on two of your dice if you can get close enough to shoot. Which, because you have medium guns, you can get close enough to shoot. You're close enough now. Um, might rob up. I don't think my ship just moved 12 inches. Yeah, they kind of went sideways. Where, where, which, yes. ship, which ship is that, Brian? This is my group right here. Well, he, this group right here? No, no, no. Um, this group that's right my here. group. This group here. Yes, that group. All right. Which ship did which ship did you? Well, I just moved all three of my destroyers. Okay. And I told them to turn right, move twelve inches, and so they would do they would do circles. Oh. Well, that's obviously not what I wanted to do. How do you need to go about it? Do you have to plot each step? Two inches right, two inches right, two inches right? Well, if you want, if you go 12 inches on a tight turn radius, then you're going to go round and round and round 12 inches. Which turn radius did you use? The D? B. The B? Yeah, it's just going to keep going round and round and round. Look at the, look at the turn gauge. So, so go to the handout. Go ahead to the quick reference, too. Well, I've already screwed up my formation, so right. I'm just I'm just trying to illustrate. If you go to quick reference three, and you look at the B turn gauge, you see if you move three inches on that B turn gauge, you're gonna end up at the end of that stick where that stick would end. Facing in that direction. And if you did twelve inches, you'd go all the way around the circle. So yeah, if you're if you're trying to turn if you're trying to turn and then go straight and turn in the opposite direction. Just, just drag your ships back to where you think they were. Buddy. It doesn't have to be precise. Just drag them back to, and rotate them by hand back where you think they were. And if you select them, you'll see a little at the, at the forward end. Yeah, the, just like you'll see a check your six. Stick, yeah, that you could use to turn them. Except now it's, okay, that one. But it's not letting me, so, ah, there it goes. I want to add that I appreciate you making making the turn handles blue. They're much easier to see. I didn't change the turn handles the colors. I can't do that, but I, the map makes them stand out a little more. No, oh, they're very easy to see now. Good. I'll have to see about doing it, creating an undo, undo, undo move, last move, and pull that off. Boom, that ship moved far, far away. So, Bear, Brian, Brian, you could use a, a like I said, you could use a, a less severe turn gauge. That was E. Yeah, that was E. That's going to be a much less severe turn gauge with a 12 inch move on a, on a E arm. It takes practice. I, I grant you that. It, 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 would, it takes practice. That looks better. Great word again, Doug. Pretty uh, ugly formation, but where are we in the move? Dan and Brian are moving. Okay, I didn't miss. Okay. Dan, are you with us? Have you moved? No, no, I haven't. I was trying to figure out. <laughs>
No, you could again. You could combine movement, right? You could move straight ahead six inches and then use a, a A or a B or a C turn gauge to move the remaining movement of your. So you have to, like any other ship game, you have to figure out how much is going to be straight movement, how much is going to be curved movement, and when to use the curved movement. Well, after the initial fumble, things are looking a little bit better. I'm not proud of that destroyer formation, but it'll do. Well, like I, like I said, at any time you could just manually take over and, uh, you know, make it look a little prettier if you... Uh, if you know you're looking, if you know, if you know that the, tur the, the maneuver you're making is not going to violate the turn, the turn radius, um, the... Each inch of movement, I mean, I could, you know, not that you have a protractor that, that will help, but the, each, each, each uh, inch of movement on the A gauge is 45 degrees. Each inch of movement on the B gauge is 26 and two-thirds degrees. The C is 16.25 ah. degrees. The D is 12 degrees. And the E is seven and a half degrees. So that's, that's how much turn you're getting out of each inch movement, if that helps. Yeah, it'll help for next time. I can do this, actually. Oh. And as a programming note, we have grandkids over tonight, so I'm probably going to be on mute a lot. That's fine. Don't, Don't you have, kid to have grandkids? What was that, Mike? This is Barry. Don't you have oh, soundproof you can lock them in? Do it. Don't you have soundproof lock closets you can lock them in? <laughs> I'm, told that, I'm told that's frowned on by modern society. Yeah, I think it is frowned upon. Uh, parents approve of it. Can you understand now why I don't have children? Uh, yeah. But he said he was a grandparent, so I think that the approval is denied to grandparents. Hey Brian, were you able to shoot at all? Oh, sorry, didn't realize I was muted. Um, I, do we shoot simultaneously, or do we shoot after we move? I, That was not me. You shoot after you move. Oh, then I most assuredly want to open up on some frogs. Well, good. Okay, I have frog hunting is the sport I have, du jour. I have changed the name. I have changed the names. No. Of the, I have changed the names of the movement macros to include the angles of one inch movement in each of the. Uh, oh, names, okay. Names of the movement yeah. macros, so you can to, to the thousandth place. I love it. You know, well, <laughs> an engineer. It's, it's twenty six point six 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 seven. Ah, uh, see, that's what happens when you game with engineers. That's right. Oh, lordy. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, I'm an engineer, and I'm good with uh, about this much. <laughs> uh, somebody's drawing All right. So, For those of us who have not played this game before. All right, so so here's the thing, Barry. Uh, so, Brian, you want to you wanna open up with these destroyers, correct? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. All right. Now, so so what what is your target for each ship? Okay, the Perseus. Let's find, find you know, at the, the Chacal. All right. Yes, let me let me just show to others what I'm going to be doing. All right. Um, the Perseus will open up on the Chacal. Got it. Definitely short range. Yep. The uh the Calypso will open up on the Jaguar. Okay. And the Hera. And I'm going to be firing at all these guys too. So we'll open up on the Leopard. All right. So select. So against the Shakal, select the Perseus. 
Okay. You know it's short range because it's within 10 inches. So select the first right. disc and then click on the short, fire at short range button. Uh, for some reason, I'm having, hold on. It's, oh. Make sure your arrow is select. Make sure your yeah, I'm on select move, not pan view. All right, there we go. Now, what do you, want to, use, now, do you want? Well, do you want to use the command point? You have a command point on Perseus. Do you, do you want to use it? That was that was for movement. They use it, so you should remove it. I would suggest everybody remove their command points after they use them, just so we, okay. we don't we don't get confused. Okay. So fire at short range. Fire at short range, and look at your chat chat your chat window. It'll tell you the results against the Chicago. Oh, let's see. Um, unrecognized command. Uh, have you selected the Perseus? I did. You selected the Perseus and hit the <laughs> fire at short range. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm getting unrecognized command. Okay, hang on a minute. That's interesting. Okay, hold on. Um, give me a minute. Unrecognized command. Yeah, unrecognized command colon space forward stroke DESC. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. Well, that's silly. Um, okay, I'll fix that. I'm sorry. Apparently, oh, okay. apparently the command I'm using. Uh, okay, give me, give me, give me one second. Everybody, okay. take, everybody take a, a, a beer break real quick, a drink, re, drink refresh break while I look something up. If if oh, I that'll, have... work, that'll work just fine. Be right back. The British should note. No, never mind. Uh, never mind. Uh, Chickaboom and Silvis, y'all definitely can probably get in range, especially with your heavies. Of uh, this, these ships up here. Try this. Let's try this. Yeah, baby. Okay. All right. So let's try that. Let me change the other. Can somebody? Can somebody just click a ship and hit the short shoot, the short range shoot button? There we go. Thank you, Dory. Perfect. All right. Then I need to just change the other buttons real quick. 
or medium. I was using a command that only GMs are allowed. Oops. Which is why it wouldn't work for Fry. Okay, that should fix it. All right, let me try it then. All right, so select the Perseus and hit short range. And we're firing at the Shakal. Yes. Um, no. No successes. You didn't roll any sixes. All right. Now. Wait a minute. I, I gotta find my. I gotta. You rolled. Oh. Yeah. Um. Uh, no. According oh, to this, I have two, success. two successes. You rolled. Yes. Yeah, so you rolled the seven. Uh, sorry, the seven medium guns got two successes. The six light guns, small guns, got zero. You got two successes. So Shakal. Okay. Shakal has taken two hits. Rob. Got it. Duly noted. Gotcha. Calypso, your turn. Okay. Calypso again. I believe we are then we're shooting at the Jaguar. Same thing. Hit the short range. Select it and hit the short range button. Five successes total. Five. Oh, Jaguar goes down. Uh, uh, I'll put a flame. I'll, I can put a flame on the Jaguar to mark it for, for photographic purposes. Let me put a flame, a flaming. It's a little big. Jeez. There's, there's a fire on board the uh, Jaguar. All right. And I believe we said the hero was next. Yeah, the hero fires. Are you firing the leopard? Which is it's the leopard. Yeah. Ten, is that still short range? Uh, let me double check. No, that's, nope. me, that's medium range. So here, nope, hit, that's medium. you're going to select the hero and hit the medium range button. Mm, all right. The Cleo is short range. The hero is not. Ooh, the hero got three hits. <clears throat> Who is the target? The Leopard. The Leopard. All right. Leopard is down. With three hits? They're yeah, small. man. These are, these are small. These are torpedo boats. They're small. You're shooting at I, PT boats. That's why, he's got 14, took, that's why he's got 14 of them. I thought he took four hits. That's why he got seven of them. Right. So, um, now, the Clio, right? Yeah, was it short range to the Lepard? Oh, uh, you called the shot. Yeah, I'll go yeah, ahead. You did. And it would have been a forward it would have been a forward arc shot to the Lepard as well. If you can okay. see, you can see the arc, arc the arc gauge I just put on the middle of the uh, dead, Lepard. So and Le but the Lepard He's dead, so do we need to roll? Lepard. No, well, no, cuz you just waste the shot. Yeah. And there's no first fire bonus or anything. No. Whoops. No, we're not playing check your sex. Uh, there you go. <laughs> uh, I never roll, roll like Jaguar, this when we do. The Lepard and the Jaguar will come off the next next uh, next turn. When we're planning for the next turn. Okay. Uh, so, Brian, you're done shooting. Uh, Dan, do you have any shooting? Dan, any shooting? Yes. Okay. What do you want to shoot? Yeah. Everybody. Okay, we'll pick a <laughs> pick a ship shooting. Select. You gotta one. call call your shots call your and shots. then take them. Call your shots. All right, just a second. Wait. It's anything with a fireball on it, it's already dead. And here's your here's your fire arc. In case you're trying to figure out what's forward, front, and back. All right. Okay. I believe uh, so. This guy and this guy are both sunk, right? Yeah. If there's a fireball on them, they're dead. Okay. Well, maybe we can take out the bigger guy. Okay. 
him. Measure your range between the uh, Arethusa. If you want to fire with the Arethusa first, measure your range. Uh, from center to center, it's uh, just at 10 inches. So we'll give it 10. We'll call it 10 well, just, inches. Uh, just under, isn't it? Yeah, it's short range. So it's short range. We'll give it short range from the Arethusa. And that's a broadside Okay. Shot. So you select the Arethusa and then hit the short range, fire short range button. Oh, Andy, are you requiring all shots to be called by the element before they start shooting? Because that's what Brian did. Okay, so uh, Dan, you should you should call all shots for your four destroyers. Okay. Um, one's going there. Um, I will take this guy and fire him at that. Name the guy. Little guy. Name the guy for him. Name the guy. I can't him. read it. Amphibity, Aphrodite, Whoever, or Hermes? Okay. That guy. Shakal. All right. So, Arethus so I'm going to fire... Arethus is firing at Shakal. No, Arethus yep. is firing at the big ship, the Honor. Right? Right. All right. This back, the one behind him is firing at the little guy. At Shakal. Okay. The HMS Amphetamine. Amphetamine, yeah. Aphrodite. This guy is going to fire... I guess he'll go ahead and fire here. And he'll fire here. Aphrodite on Vator. And Hermes on Albatross. Right. Okay. Got it. All right. So select select Arethusa and hit it. Stop, okay. stop moving your ships because you're nudging your ships. Not trying to, but uh, I yeah. moved it to begin with. All right. Select Arethusa. Uh, select fire Arethusa. short range. Select Arethusa. I thought I had. Okay, it is hit short range because it's firing it. He's only got three guns. Arethusa? Arethusa should have more than three guns. Arethusa, Arethusa's got nothing. No, it's got six. Okay. It's got six lights right, and right, seven so, mediums. So somebody, somebody took the numbers off Arethusa. All right, hold on. I don't know why Arethusa's three circles are empty, but let me let me put the numbers back in. It should have seven, and it should have six. I think try, I want to keep that six. Try the Arethusa, six. <laughs> try, try Arethusa again, because the numbers were okay. The numbers we're not in the circles. Four successes. Four successes by all medium guns. All right, four hits on the uh, on the. And upper. one's a six. It already explodes. It already explodes. It, the sixes already explode for you. You don't have to add. Do all right. To so four. Check six. call is gone. No, no, that was on the honor. Well, now. Wait, stop. That was Arethusa was firing at Honor. Rob. On the no. big guy. Yeah. yeah, that's what he called. That's the first thing he called. I thought it was Chuck Call. No. No. Air infinity. All right, fine. fine. You already called it. Fine. That was honor. I called the big oh, ship. Honor. Honor. Two honor. Four hits. Okay. Honor's got four. Got it. Now infinity. Now infinity is firing at Shakal, which is going to be uh, over ten inches. So you're going to fire. You're going to hit the. You're going to select infinity and hit the medium button. Medium fire button. Unfortunately. Yes. Oh, two successes. At least two. All right. Two. And that five just didn't. Darn. All right. So two successes on Shakal. Now, Aphrodite, you said, was firing at Vartor. Right. All right. That is. At less than 10 inches, so select Aphrodite and hit the short, fire at short range. Oh my! <laughs> Should have shot at the big guy. Seven hits. Uh, Vator is down. Vator goes away. I, I, that seven hits on that big guy would have been nice. Wow. Then the other one is firing here. Okay, so Hermes is firing at Albatross. That should still be a broadside, and it should be over 10 inches. So it's medium range. All right. (laughs) 
Two bye bye. Two successes on Albatross. Well, no, wait. The five, the six, and the the six exploded. It, didn't that give me at least three hits? You needed sixes. Oh, you needed, yeah, no, dude. you need sixes to hit with light, light with the uh, the medium guns at at medium range. Right. Right. The, the but I thought you still exploded sixes. You did. You roll. It just means you roll. That's all exploding means is you get another roll. Right. Okay, but that so I got still three successes. Six. So you rolled six dice, right? One, two, three, one, and six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one, two, three, one, six, and one were your first rolls. One of them was a right. six. One of them was a six, which was a success, right? Then you rolled. Then, but then you regenerated a, a, a re-roll. The re-roll, the extra roll, was another six. That's a second success. That generated another roll, which was the three. Six. Because you got seven. Oh, dice. I'm looking at the wrong one. Okay. The very bottom. bottom but of the okay. Shot you rolled seven dice. Okay. One, two, three, four, yeah. five, six, seven. Two of them were sixes. Both were successes. They both generated a three. Each one re-rolled gave you a three and a four. They were not sixes, so they were not successes. You got two successes. Okay. Wow. All right. So Albatross took two hits. All right. Your call is down. You haven't marked it. Yeah, yeah, I thought that one. See, Rob, you were complaining about having all those little ships. They're light. <laughs> they're they're PT boats. Now you Barry, know we're achieving success beyond our wildest expectations. They're drawing fire. They're drawing fire. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to fire the two bigger guys. Call, call, at, call, uh, call your shots. They, I, I think yeah. they're both going to be medium, but... I guess I'll go both of them. One in. Okay, Athens uh, fires it on or. Yeah, and they, this Atreus, one will fire. Atreus fires at uh, Gerfo. Gerfo. Yeah. No, indefa indefatigable. Indefatigable. Yes. There's another. Right, point of order. Another. They should have called the point of right. order. They should have called their shots. I'm doing it by class of ship, Rob. GMs, uh, GMs what's the difference? It's it, it, all ship. players Rob, should Rob, call all their ships. Rob, you said by group. I'm classing those. No, well, by my group. point is I a player it. needs to call their shots. All right. From now on, all players will call their shots. But for now, we'll let it ride. Well, I was. I thought I did what he asked of me. So if I did too. I mean, if if Rob I messed it up, I'm sorry. I'm okay it was not intentional. It. I'm okay that's, with it. Sorry. If Rob, <laughs> if Rob wants all ships belonging to one player to call their shots, that's fine. It, it makes sense. And that's that's fine. fine. We'll do it. That's fine. So. All right. So. This guy. But it makes sense that Athens and Atreus would fire at the bigger ships anyway, even if the little ships little ships are still. Does I? Them. Not arguing. Okay. I'm just saying. Gotcha. So go ahead, uh, select Athens and hit medium. Target is indefatigable here. That was honor. Yeah. No, I thought Athens was firing at honor. Was that Athens you fired? This is the nearest one going up to the whatchamadoodle guy. Athens firing at honor. Him. I, I believe that was. Dan, I'm just asking, are you not zoomed in? We we got to No, I'm not. I can't, I'm not zoomed in far enough to see. No, it, I'm not. Can you you zoom, zoom in? Because it would really thing. help. Yeah, zoom in. Yeah, it would really know. help. So that we, know, we know what's firing at what? Honor. All right, I fired, fired at honor. Athens fired at honor. And got, got four, it. And Recorded. Got four, hits. four hits. Recorded. Got it. Yep. Got it. Okay. So he, he had seven total hits this turn. Actually, it's eight. He's recorded it. Eight. All right. Wow. At Atreus. Atreus is firing at uh, Indefatigable. So do the same thing. This should be medium range. Select Atreus and hit the medium range button. And Atreus got two successes this time. So Indefatigable takes. Oh, wait. Yes. Got it. A uh, indefatigable took two, recorded. Got it. Okay. Dan is done shooting. All right. The British are. Uh, I tried. All right. Are the are the uh, battleships within range of anything to shoot? 
Oh yeah. They haven't moved yet. Well, they haven't moved yet. So that was Brandon and Dan. Mike, you're up. Woohoo! Go get him, Mike. Mike, you're moving and shooting. Running. Execute. Execute. And then Silas and Dory. Mm, yeah. Silas and Dory will not... execute alone. And so Silas and Dory will execute together. While after blow me out of the water now. After Mike's done. Yeah, well, he could. All right. Hey. Just out of curiosity, mm -hmm. how badly does eight hits hurt the I assume that's a light cruiser the uh, all the stat cards are visible in the journal Dan you don't yeah. have to yeah have no to I mean you I'm just to, you don't have to you could just look it up okay so I well I bet it's also trying to understand to read it so I we got the every first success, full hull yeah every success is a, is a box every hit is a box on that, on that. Okay, so that gets him. He got all the way across to the minus one. Right. So he loses one. So what does that do? He loses one inch of movement off of his maximum movement, and he loses one from each of the three gun classes. So he loses one off of his heavy, medium, and light guns. Ah. So if, if Rob wanted to, he could select the yellow, red, and orange circles and subtract one from each. Oh, okay. Now, fact, could he, do, that Rob, he can never that get way, back, right? No, he cannot repair those. He can repair the whole box. Yeah. If he spends a but he doesn't point, get his guns back. If he spends a command point, he could restore up to three whole boxes. For each, for each command point he spends, depending upon how many repair boxes the formidable. So we look at the formidable's card. Right? He, Rob, can, Rob can repair two times. So that means he could repair oh. good rolls. He could repair six of those hull boxes he's lost if he spends two command okay, points now, over two uh, turns. I've got a question. Yes. Because I messed up. Yes. Um, I had a command point for both the two cruisers. Yeah. And I was going to use it to shoot. Well, Mike is moving now, so I'd say uh, it's past the point. Well, no, they, I mean, they'd be firing at the same target. That's fine. But how does that... I I didn't say it because I... Yeah, so if you're going to use outpipes, if you're going to use a command point for outpipes, you basically get to reroll two dice that you that you missed. Of the, and two dice of the largest weapon you have on the ship. So for those, for the cruisers, it would be your heavy guns. You, have, you get to reroll two heavy misses. If you use a command point Which, for outpipes. Okay. No, I mean, this is a friendly game, and so um, I'm going to let... I'm gonna, I, it's I'm gonna just let, not... No, that's fine. It's not knowing. Was that what you were... If that was your intent... Yeah. Dan. Well, I mean, they both have one yeah, point you're right, sitting there. Point left. All right. So uh, go ahead. This is a friendly game, and um, um, how does it? How do I do that? Okay, so the Athens, the Athens would fire two of its main guns again uh, at the Honor. The uh, at what was the range? Medium. 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 Okay. So you're gonna roll. So two two heavy guns at medium range need a five or six to hit. So you're gonna roll the click the question mark D6 explode five plus. I did. Yeah, and you rolled a two and a five, so that was probably one more hit. Oh, yeah. yeah, the five was one success. And the other, no, and I do roll, the same sorry, for the roll, other guy. Wait, you rolled two D6. Don't click the two D. You question you you hit the question mark D6 button. Instead, next time hit the question mark D6 explode five plus. You see that button at the bottom of the screen? Question mark D6 explode five plus. Did you add that macro to the toolbar? If you didn't, you I know. don't think I did. Go back to your collections and tick off. Okay, I'll, I'm adding them now. Yeah, those top four. Okay. okay. You got one. Explode hit. five yeah. plus. Yeah, that will explode this would be off the other. Yeah. Now you do it. Do it for the other ship, and that's one hit. So basically, basically, Rob, each of your 
two cruisers took one more hit. Got it. Because he used out pipe. Now take your command points off. Now take your command points off your ships, Dan. Right. You spend them. Yep. All right. So Mike is Mike. Let me know when you're ready to shoot. And you can blow me out of the water. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like he's trying to take all those torpedo boats after the big the big guys in the back. Mm -hmm. Mr. Job. Yeah. Well, I be within okay, eight, now I gotta to zoom in so I can actually see what the hell's going on. Yeah. To get the ship names correct. Yeah. How many how many torpedoes does does each of each, those guys each, have? Each, each, 36. Each, <laughs> each torpedo boat has four torpedoes, but they can't shoot more than two in a turn. So they can each shoot two per turn, and they have four total. Okay, so basically the, uh, when they've shot Kitakami them, they're done. Class. The, the Kitakami the class of the French Navy. Yeah, but when they've shot four, they're done. They don't have well, they any have, more. They have, they have a secondary, they have a tertiary weapon. They have a light gun. But they have oh, a, yeah. yeah, no, have, but. Yeah, but they're, they're done with the torpedoes when they fire, fired their, their two salvos of two each. They're, right, they're like a PT boat, not yeah. like a sub. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yes. They have four shots with their torpedoes total. Two and or the or the Japanese that reload the damn things. And they don't have not, they don't have the long lance like the Japanese do in this game. All righty. So what's it's more like a German uh, for that. German nest boat? So allocate, they're fast. So uh, so, so allocate your shots, uh, Mike. What are you targeting? All right. Um, now, if I do stoke the fires, I can still shoot right, and I can do it before or after. If you stoke the fires, you get three inches of movement either before or after you shoot. But right now, you gotta be you gotta be within ten because you have small guns. But I don't see any command points. Uh, not you, on the did, big boys. Do you have command points on the ships? I don't see any command point dice. Yeah, I had I had one command point on each of those. On each of the capital ships. All right. Yeah, I just wrote it on a piece of paper versus trying to figure it out. I see. Um, I understand that problem. Yeah. Let's see. That's they, they the. Get, they would each get an extra three inches if you spent it on. Uh, that's what I'm doing right now, and I can do that before or after fire, but I'll do it before fire. Yes. So. Um, wow, those things move. They move ten plus three, thirteen. Yeah, baby. Gee, crickets. Yeah, the, the well, they move the pretty good. The Navy, form, baby. Formidable is a fast ship. It's a light cruiser. It's a pretty fast light cruiser. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking compared to my five inches on my cruiser. Okay. As a World War so, II critic, eminently suited for running away from the enemy. Mm -hmm. As you see, we're doing that right now. All right, so the formidable will shoot at the Hermes. And the indomitable, ab, 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 indomitable will shoot at the uh, Aphrodite. Gotcha. Okay. They're so both, those are both, both medium guns. They're both broadsides. What about your light ships? What are they? What are they targeting? Uh, they they uh, did flat out movement, so they can't shoot. Okay. So Indomitable is going after Aphrodite. Is Indomitable is going after Aphrodite? Indomitable Aphrodite. Okay. So let's measure the range. The range appears it's to be. It's within twenty. Yep. Yeah. So it's medium range. So select the Indomitable. And then hit the fire at medium range button. Uh, okay, get the goddamn pointer thing up again. Yeah, right, okay. Come on. <laughs> uh. <laughs> that that is one of the things that sometimes yeah. gets me on this too is I have to swap around yeah, between so them. So fire, fire medium range, medium guns, fire medium at uh, medium range with the uh, indomitable selected. <laughs> Oh, no six. Only one. Main the main the main guns at medium range got one hit. 
Okay, I my in the chat box it says zero. Look above it. Mike is re read it all. It says Mike with indomitable. Ah, uh, is firing. Okay, his main, the his, one his success main, got it. It's, it's the range. two different guns. Yeah, there's you add both of them. Yeah, okay, add both, yeah. both, both. Yeah, so it's one success total against. Okay, Aphrodite. now against the Hermes. Okay, hold on. Aphrodite took one buck, one whole hit, huh? Yes, correct. No, Af no, yep, no against the Hermes. <clears throat> Mike got uh, three hits. Three. Got it. Three hits against the Hermes. Dan. Okay, let me see if that what that does to me. Not much. It doesn't really Not much of anything, really. Yeah, Woke you up. If nothing else. Yeah, the Arethus needs six hits to take uh, to hit the first row. <coughs> you you dented you dented the two uh, light cruisers or the two. Uh, <clears throat> the Arethus, the two. Well, no, I, oh, those are light cruisers. Okay. The Arethus, the I thought they were actually destroyers. No, the Indomitables are light cruisers. The, the Formidables, I mean, the Formidable class is light cruiser. The Arethus class well, is no, destroyers. I'm, I'm thinking about the Arethusa class was a destroyer. Yeah, they are. They are here. Too. Yeah. Okay. Right. So that's not a fair fight, by the way, guys. Mike, are you done? <laughs> I'm done. All right, Silas and Dory, you can both go simultaneously. Guys, you might want to figure out what you want to shoot at. <laughs> we gave we you tell you, there's a lot of PT boats coming at you. Mm-hmm. But we can only target one target with the guns, right? Like you said, you can split it between two. You can split between two. We, uh, it's a little difficult with my macro buttons, but we could figure it out. I think the best way to do it is to try and get two two targets within the same range of each of, of your ship, and then we'll just if you'll fire one great big attack, and we'll divide the successes equally between the two targets. So you can you can spread all your successes against two targets, or you can put all the successes on one target. As long as there are both targets within the same range, range band. So I think that's the only restriction to make this easy. Since it's hard to divide your dice up, given the buttons that I've got created. And I need another beer. Now you can reach out and touch someone thirty inches away with the main guns. You just can't. You just need sixes to hit. Can't hit anything else. Hit nothing else. I mean. So either that, or you literally go up here. There's one ship left. One PT boat up there that's still left, alive. It's got one hit left on it. Or you could try to sink these two light cruisers. Actually, there's there's two. The ger, your, the Gerfo is hiding behind the uh, indefatig indefat oh. indefatigable. Either, yeah, you could try to sink uh, the other thing, uh, or you get a broadside out here at something a lot further away. Actually, there's three of the uh, the hussars out there too. Well, I think everything that I have is going to be, these are all 20 in the 20 something ranges over here by the red target. The, if I go straight on, yeah, so mm -hmm. they're all 20 somethings. Yeah, that's all, yeah but that's all long range. That's all you could, long range. Right. Yeah. And, but if I go. But you're going to be halved, you're, you're, you're going to be halved to go up there at anything. Right. See, my range. plan was is to take, to shoot at these two big guys from a broadside, because I've only got eight inches of movement. So it's not like I have but a you lot. didn't even turn. Yeah, you have which, which way of a turn would help me right now? Well, what are you trying it depends to on who you want to shoot at. Yeah. Well, I was going to try to. Probably to the left. Right. Probably to the left would have been the best. 
Right, but turn. then I would lose the broad side and only get the front, right? No. You got to go left to get the broad side on those two guys up there. I, I think you guys are talking about two different targets. I think Dory's talking Yeah, about I'm that. looking to the left, not to the top. Dory's talking about shooting this way, not shooting up. Yes. Yeah. That's correct. But you're actually going to do a lot better if you shoot the north because that's much closer. What is medium range? 20 inches. 20 inches and down. 10 to 20 inches. Uh, 10, 10, 10, 10 uh, you know, 11 to 20. And then you go over 10 and, and under equal to, to 20. Silas, what are you going to do? Because I, I thought Silas was going to shoot at this, but I, I could do that. I'll, I'll take my step back. That's why I put a little... Well, no, just, that's fine. No, if he's going to go up there and shoot, that's probably fine. Just shoot, your, you know, shoot over the other way and just leave where you're at and pound what you've got. I don't know what else you can do. Yeah, I think I'm going to shoot at the two big guys on the left. Where's Silas? Silas, are you with us? He's gone quiet. Silas? <laughs> Nope, there he goes. Silas. And I have a point that I was going to use um, to re-roll two gun shooting dice that failed to hit. Once for medium, uh, oh, can't be... You missed both your... Once for main, medium, or small bore. Yeah. Reroll your big two big guns. So it's just two D six, right? I texted nothing. I texted Silas to see if we can wake him up. Mic off. Hi. Yeah, I'm having trouble. I off and on. I'm going to go after the Mike formidable. On. Okay. Firing forward. I'm going to try and. Did you finish moving, Glenn? Yeah. Okay. Did, uh, do you, you you should move the fighters? Right, unless you already moved the fighters, they have a twelve inch. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. The fighters, the the, cus, the, the side, Yeah. The oh, okay. Range. I'll move it first before I start shooting. Yeah. That's they, right. They, they have a twelve inch. Okay, range. got it. Send them after your PT boats over there. They could do a lot of damage to those little PT boats. Oh, yeah. Well, they only you didn't realize we have quad 20s on each one of those they only, boats. They only hit on a six uh, short range, but hey, they get six dice. There we go. So one should hit, I think, statistically. Okay. Right. So while uh, so while Silas is finishing his movement, uh, uh, what are you shooting at, Dory? Let's get your shooting done. Uh, I think my shooting is already done. Did you already roll it? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, rolled it. Okay. Got nada. Okay, wow. All right. Bummer. Okay. Uh, so, okay. So, Glenn is moving his fighters. And what is the Ben Bow shoot again? Well, that's a bad name for a ship. Sounds way too close to something else. Now, actually, I'd move those fighters to the left, yeah, not to the I, right. Silas, I, I was, I was trying. These to guys do that. have almost all been killed. Yeah, he's. I tried to do that. Something screwed up. 
Fighters, well, there they are. Fighters, fighters are easy to just pick up and move the 12 inches. Yeah, that's... You don't really need to use a, a button. Unless you want to move them straight. That about right. Yeah, that's about 12. You, you should have moved them 24 inches so far. Okay, but, uh, no, let's so, try it right, again. So move this a little... All right, go ahead. All right, Silas, what are you shooting at with Benbo? He's he's going after formidable. Uh, you mean honor? Yeah, you want to go after honor. That's the more damaged one. This one up here. This one here. Yeah. Okay. Well, you're gonna have your yeah successes. honor. Right. Yeah, he's All going right. after honor. All right. So you're gonna have your successes because you're firing from from the front of your ship. It's uh, correct. It's under 20 inches, so you're firing at medium range. So you're going to select Ben Bow and hit the fire at medium range button. And have your successes. So I got one. No, no, you got, well, you got seven. seven. You got five with the main gun. No, 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 no. Oh, you yeah. Five. Five and two is seven. Divided by two. Rounding got it. Down. Rounding down will be three hits. So three hits on honor. From Bedbo. Do we lose Rob? Rob, you there? <clears throat> Rob. Uh, three hits. Three hits. Got it. Yep. Got it. Three right. hits. Are the uh, are the are the British done? What do you say? And then I'm gonna out pipes and do two more. You're gonna with my big guns. You're going to outpipe and reroll two misses. Okay, take off your command yep. point and roll two dice for outpipe. Reroll two dice. So down in the lower left corner, down at the bottom of your screen, the lower left, but beneath Dory's name, or you're going to hit the, uh, you're at medium range, you're going to hit the, the question mark D6, explode five plus. Okay, I don't have that. Uh... You don't have those buttons? Okay, you need to turn yeah, them on. Yeah, turn them on. It's in the journal. You have to select it. You have to go to your uh, contents, the up, up near the gear, up near the gear in your right, upper right corner. Yeah. And turn on the first four, add to tool, add to the bar. Click on the add, add to bar checkbox, the first four macros that are listed there. Okay. They should now appear at the bottom of your screen, the lower left corner of your screen. So you're going to... At medium range, you're going to click a question mark, D6, explode 5 plus. We're going to see what you were smoking in your pipe. Yeah. Okay, so I got my... You're going to enter two when it asks you how many dice. Collection. How about if I just roll the dice and we'll add to it? And... Yeah, that's fine. You can roll two, D two D6 and we'll, if they explode, we'll explode them. Yeah. But at medium range, large guns need fives. Oops. Ooh. That's one. Okay. Got one hit. That's one hit and a reroll. And so run a, roll a D6. And a reroll. Ah. Uh, so one more. Okay. Hit, one more hit on uh, on our Rob. Oh, got it. And when you roll out, rolled round down. Half round. It was half round down from the. Uh, uh, yeah, technically, uh, technically, it would have been one hit anyway. He had seven, that would have been eight. He would yeah. have had four. Total. Right, right. That's right. Yeah. So, so one hit. Yeah. It should, it should be, you should, you should just add them all up and then divide by half. Okay. So that, that should bring us to the end of turn two. Any questions? <laughs> are we, are we happy to move on to turn three? So okay. can I light up the tanker in front of me and uh, cause a smoke screen? Sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, so at this point, everybody is going to roll. Um, I'm going to I'm going to clear off. Let's see. I'm going to clear off uh, Rob's. Oh, no, 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 no! Don't do that. Okay, we're going to take that ship. We're going to take. I'm gonna take that off, that off, that off. 
<laughs> Dang, that heavy cruiser. The French heavy cruiser is beefy. Okay. Hey. What what did you so much more what, more dead? Vator, Leopard, Jaguar, and Chacal is all that should be gone. I thought that's why I took off. Chacal, Vator, okay. Jaguar, and all right. That's that's what all I right. That's what I grabbed. Okay. That's what I grabbed. You're good. Okay. That's good. Okay. Yep. Those are gone. Okay. Now everybody's gonna roll their command points. Everybody's gonna roll a d6. The, the, the two overall commanders, Barry and um, Silas slash Dory, are going to roll add one to their D6. Everybody else rolls a D6. Yeah. Dory rolls better. All right. Write down, write down those command points. This is just for command points. Roll it, Barry. You rolled a six last time. Hmm. No. Now it becomes important to win initiative or to lose initiative. So you, yeah, yeah, it does. You may you may spend command points from your pool, pre 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 allocate them, cross them off, make a decision before you roll your dice. How many are you going to either add or subtract from your initiative totals? Your initiative roll. We're going to roll d10s. All right. Everybody's going to roll d10. Dory and si or Silas, yeah. did they? Did y'all roll? No, Dory, go for it. Dory has not rolled yet. Oh, good. So we have y'all have six. Are you going to share any of those, or are you going to keep them all for yourself? Barry, no, I think we should share them. Barry, you can make the same decision on your end if you want to share any. Uh, Mike and Rob, you have five total between the two of you. All right, Mike, how many do you need? Uh, I say we get two each. To right now, I don't need Brian and Dan. If you all right, I'll all, take, take them. Every, if you can use them, use them. I okay, uh, Brian. That'll give you them. seven and me seven. Yeah, and then that leaves one each for Silas and myself. Yeah, as long as we can go up, put one for the initiative roll, that might be kind of pivotal on this one. Do you want to win initiative yeah. or lose initiative? <laughs> A win initiative, I think. Then you can spend well, both. Well, actually, actually, yeah. Let's let them, let's just let the initiative um, play itself out. Yeah, see what happens. It was not necessarily good. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, you may get to shoot first, but you get There's to my initiative. <laughs> Yeah, we can shoot first at nothing. Yeah. All right. So, everybody make a decision. Yep. So we die roll in D10s die now? Die rolling D10 and adding or subtracting whatever you decided for your initiative and spending those command points. So tell me what I get you, six. So tell me what you have. Brian, you got what? Six. The six. Six. Brian got six. All right. Mike, Mike six. Got Mike got six. Okay. Who else? I rolled a one. Uh, Dory got a one. Right, I'm an eight. Rob, Rob is an eight. Right. Barry is an eight. Barry is an eight. Okay. Good roll. Silas, did you roll? Silas, you roll? I'm... D10. And Dan, did you roll? Oh, yeah. I got it. Silas got a one. Right, okay. Woohoo! Okay. And Dan, Dan, did you roll? Dan Kane? Dan got a two. Did you modify that at all, Dan, or is that just a straight two? Um, yeah, I did. Well, how did you I put uh, two into it. A positive two? That's yeah. Four. All right. All right. So there's the order. Rob, Barry, Mike, Brian, me, 
Dan, Dory, and Silas. Any, any, any? If there's no uh, con con contention with that, it looks like Rob, Barry, and Mike can all work together. Rob, that you? French coordination. No, I would go in front of Rob. No, I added five to my initiative roll, so I got an eight. Oh. Everybody, Dang. Rob told me eight, Barry told me eight, Mike told me six, Brian six, Matt five, Dan four, Dory and Silas each one apiece. So Rob, Barry, and Mike can all move simultaneously. Yeah, that's the way we like it. Andy, how do we back up since your macro doesn't handle that? You have to just drag it back the old-fashioned way, Rob, I'm afraid. I don't have so should I just measure? Because I just did like a 10-inch move. So to, yeah, yeah. You either have to measure or you have to put, you have to put something. A marker That's fine. Or, I'm, or I'm, or look, I'm, I'm going with yeah. this, this uh, transition between ocean and land is, you know. Or count it as three uh, inches backwards. Yeah, count it as uh, count it as navigator error. You just have to live with it. Uh, all right, that was three inches back, so that that works. Right. There are, I mean, you can either measure it by hand. There are these. I do have these rulers. Crap. I do have these green rulers here. If, you want, if anybody wants to mark their the angle and position of their ship before they move, in case they make a mistake, you can always use these sticks to assist you. Oh no! Wait. Okay. So is Brian and Mike moving? Is Mike moving right now? Barry, Rob, and Mike should all be moving simultaneously because they're all. On the but same what about side. Brian? Brian's got a six. Uh, that's sorry. That's true. Uh, I I missed that. Brian and Mike, you should have rolled off. Oh, two tens, right? Two ten, yeah, ten each. Pissed on. Brian rolled a three. So I'm rolling a D ten, right? Roll a D10. Just a sec. If you roll more than three, then we're in good shape. And he rolls a two. All right, Mike, have you already have you moved much? Did you move anything? Uh, I moved two ships. Can you back them up without much trouble? Rough, roughly guesstimating where you put them? Uh, they were over here somewhere. Nope. <laughs> All right, stop. Well, stop. I'm not going to move anymore. Stop what you're doing. Leave those ships there. Uh, go ahead, Brian. You're moving before Mike. Right. Wait, wait until Robin Barry are done. Wait until Robin Barry are done. Brian, and then you're moving. All right, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. And, and my, Mike's already committed two shifts, but uh, my my bad for for jumping the gun there. That's a uh, French Alain that you see. <laughs> Eagerness over eager. Nice. Probably, probably. I, I, I'm guessing that Brian is not surprised. Well, those French torpedo boats do look good flitting around like that. Thanks, Brian. We're all about our, you know, maneuverability. All about, image. All about your image, huh? I mean, not as good as they look in a burning heap in the harbor, but still. I vote for the burning heap. Black is the new in color anyway, so. 
We're still exactly. waiting for you guys to heave to on a safety inspection. <laughs> oh, I, uh, I think based upon the gunfire so far, we'd fail that. Oh, you, you knocked out the and put a hurt and probably put a pretty good hurt on honor. Oh, that was Dan. That wasn't me. I, I don't see a lot of command points on ships, so I'm assuming that people are writing them down on a piece of paper and not putting them on with black dice. Yeah. I'm done. Hey, when do I do this repair? Right now? When I'm spending yeah. a command point yeah. on honor. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Just uh, subtract the command point or roll, roll a D6 or a D, roll a D6 divided by two. So you're going to get one, two, or three hull points. So you got one. Oh, I got one back. Okay. And then cross off. Cross off, or just make a note that you've used one of your two repairs for honor, because you could do it again in, in a subsequent turn. But you can't do it more than twice. You don't have enough damaged control parties to do it more than twice. Given that class of ship, I think. Okay, I'd like to fire now. That's fine. If, if you're done moving, the rest of them are moving. You may you may declare your shots, Rob. All right. Okay. Well, honor and indefatigable are going to gang up on. I believe this is Calypso? Perseus. No, not Calypso. Oh, the Perseus. lead guy is oh, Perseus, Perseus, right? Yes, Perseus. So we're going to hit Perseus with both of those. And then my three torpedo boats, Hussard, Gerfart, and Albatross, are all going to hit Britannia. Gotcha. And yeah. Mike, I'm hitting Britannia because I think we should all hit Britannia because Benbow is outside of my 10 inch range. Well, mine are, I'm outside of 10 inch range, uh, this move, so. I'm targeting Britannia with my three boats. Yeah, I'm gonna, Got it. I'm, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say that Honor and Indefatigable are in broadside against Perseus. So you are good to go, Rob. So, so All right, and like Honor, I... I have reduced Honor's ability, ba battle num gun numbers by two, right? Yeah, you should have subtracted so this should two, work. two off of each one. Yes, yeah, so I did work. that. If you select, so this should work. It should work. If you select Honor and hit them short range, fire at short range. All right, here we go. It will work. And I did that. I, I reduced my value. Yeah, if you reduce your three values, you're good. Fire at short range. This is a really amazing macro if it works. All right, I rolled it. There you go. Looks like I got five hits on Perseus. Yep. 2d6, 4d6, and 1d6. All right. So, so uh, Perseus, Perseus takes, takes five. five. Here comes Indefatigable with the same shot but higher numbers. Six and three. Rock and roll, baby. Yeah, let's see some hits. Oh, that's terrible. That's a terrible. Indefatigable one. sucks. One hit. Did one hit. One hit on Perseus. Oh, geez. All right, that's so Perseus of, takes. Total of six hits on Perseus. That's, that's not doing great. That's okay. Okay, and the torpedo boats. So you, you can start off with the torpedoes or guns. Uh, oh, torpedoes. Now, Britannia. It'll be two apiece, right? You're going into Britannia, right? Every shot, yes. Okay, Britannia, you have a you have a command point on you, Britannia. Dory, do you wish to brace for impact? It would get, sacrifice your chance to shoot this turn, but you could spend that command point to brace to Im brace for impact if you wish. Brace for impact if you choose to do that. Uh, will basically. Uh, you have to you can force Rob to re-roll up to four incoming dice that target it during this turn. No, I'm not going to do it. I want to shoot. I thought, I thought not just Rob, but that's any shots. Yeah, yeah, any shots. If you have a command point, you can brace for impact. You give up your shooting. No, you I want to shoot. Shot. You, if, you've already, if you've already moved first and shot, it's too late to, to brace for impact because you've already fired the turn. But if you haven't fired yet, you may give it up and, and make it re-roll four dice. Okay, Rob, why don't you start with your short-range guns, right? So select Hussard, Gerfal, and Albatross. And Got it. And hit, hit fire at short range. And it'll engage. Here comes short range Hussard's range. up first. All right. 
<clears throat> no successes. You're needing sixes anyway. Okay. Yeah. Should I do the Torps or move on to Hassard? It's up to you. Or move on to Garefot. It's up to you. You can do the uh, all of Hassard at once, or do. Each yeah, we'll one. we'll get all the little short guns out of the way. Sure. So we'll go through all three. Uh, that's a and, mess. And, and boss. So all oh, three, French uh, guns just aren't feeling it. Oh, short guns. Okay. So now all of the torpedoes are within two inch or ten inches. It's all ten inch range. Yes. So all yes. You, don't, you don't need to select you don't need to select the ships at all. Because it doesn't there are no stats to read off the ships. You just need to right. hit the short range ten inch torpedo button three times. And it when you hit it, it'll say two will be the default number of torpedoes that you could uh, that you're firing. That's all you can fire right. is two in this yes. salvo. So you're just going to hit that button three times and see what you get. Okay. So we'll go for Hassard's shot. Yep. Come on up. All right. Yay. That's a success. There we go. All right. So uh, you, want, you want to roll all your successes and roll that number of D6 for damage? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. Roll Gerfar. Now hit hit Gerfar. Get Gerfar's short range. Gerfar. All right. Yeah. Short range torpedo attack. Here it comes. Andy, I'll be back momentarily. All right. That's the plane no, miss. No hits. And then finally, Albatross. Albatross. One All right. Success. Two successes so total. You're rolling 2d6. Just flat out 2 Just D6. adding the numbers. Yep. Got it. Oh, nice. Oh, Look oh, at that. 11, 11 hits. 11 hits on Britannia. Bam. So a chunk. Britannia, Britannia takes 11. Hold on, I've got a question. Yes. You said I could use a command point if I'm within four inches. You're not in front. No, you're. You can use a command point if you're closer. If you're between the target and the shooter, and you're with an A with a small ship. So the Benbo. So which ship are you? Which ship are you using? You don't have anything in between the Britannia. <laughs> And okay, that's what I was trying to understand. About, yeah, if you're talking about the Athens, it's not it's not between you and the it's not between the torpedo boats and the. It Britannia. would be for the these other guys that are, my the Mike's trying to move in. But first of all, first of all, a a C class ship, uh, I don't think can it's not going to be let me do it. Yeah, they're too big to screen. They're too they're too okay. Uh, all right, they're too uh, unnimble. But how is a I thought I thought on the small boy. So a torpedo hits with a five or a six, not just a six at short inches. range. At short range, it's a five or six. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. At 14 inches, it's six inches. It's a, you need sixes. Okay. All right. So Rob has checked off two torpedoes from each of his three uh, torpedo boats, and Britannia took 11 hits. Who's the captain in Britannia? Dory. Dory. Okay. Got it. So I'm done. So Dory, Who's up, Barry? So hold on. Dory subtracting one. Dory subtracting one from her each of her guns and her movement. So Dory, uh, the Britannia normally has ten, six, and four. If you click on Britannia, you see the red circle, the orange circle, and the yellow circle. Ten, six, and four. You can type in each of those circles, nine, five, and three, because you've lost minus one from each of them. So they should you should type in nine and hit the return the enter key for the red circle, five and hit the enter key for the orange circle, and three and hit the enter key for the yellow circle. That basically subtracts one from each of those three guns. For for you taking that that minus one for eleven hits. And you'll lose one inch on your maximum speed, so you're down to seven inch maximum speed, which you can just note on a piece of paper. You don't have to change the the, the caption on the top of the ship. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So, Barry, what are you doing? That was Rob's. Line. The uh, Charlemagne is firing at the Aphrodite. The Charlemagne. Yeah. I got to find you here. Where are you? Uh, Charlemagne. Okay. Charlemagne is firing at the Aphrodite. Gotcha. Okay. Hey, what's the range? It's firing medium. Uh, medium range. Medium range. Select a Charlemagne. 
and hit the fire at medium range button. You have a command point. I don't know what you planned to do with that, but you do have a command I'm gonna, point. I'm going to add two, but do I just do that separately after I'm, I'm done? Yeah, yeah. Basically, if you, you, t if you say you're going to use that to, make, to uh, add, uh, to reroll two misses, then that's yeah. fine. We'll do that at the end of it. So fire, click, click the Charlemagne and hit the fire at medium range button. Well, excellent. So your main gun's got six successes. Holy crap. And the uh, and the medium gun's got one more. So you got a total yeah. of seven successes against the Aphrodite. So and then I go buy two extra, which is be they'll and, be with them. And they're gonna be they're gonna be main guns. And the main guns the main guns need a five or six at medium range. So just hit the question mark D six explode five plus button. And when it pops up, it say two. There you go. And you got one, one, six, one more six. Uh, you got one more success. So six, seven, eight. That's a total of eight successes. Uh, so eight hits on Aphrodite, Dan. If that's your ship. And Lar is firing at the Hermes. That's also medium range. Yep. So select Lawar. And repeat the exercise. <coughs> Uh, all right, so Lawa got five successes, and you're gonna do the same thing with the command point. Yes. All right. Do load five plus. Nope. Nope. So a total of five successes on the Hermes, right? Right. Okay. All right. So the Hermes takes five hits, and the uh, Aphrodite took uh, what? Eight hit? Eight hits. Got that, Dan? Dan, you're on mute. If you're, if you're we're not here. Oops, there you go. Yep. Okay. All right. Anything else, Barry? Uh, that's it. Okay. Uh, Robin Barry now done. Brian, you're up. Well, that's good timing because I just got back. All right. So, Brian, what happened? It, it like moved. What moved? What happened to what? Yes. Brian this was in a different position when I shot at it. Perseus? Somebody moved Perseus by mistake, it looks like. Or unless somebody's been yeah. moving ships around. No, no, I moved my ships. You've already moved? After I shot? Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So, so lower Perseus's numbers for the damage you took. How much did I take? So, because... Oh, we have to go back up and look. Rob, you fired. Uh, that was that was. Uh, I think I did six to Perseus. Oh yeah, you were firing both at Indefatigable and the Honor, correct? Yeah. Six. Okay. okay. Uh, we'll go back up and look, but yeah, they're all up here. That's why I put the names in there. So one, four, five. Indefatigable and six. Honor You're did right. a total of six. So six. Perseus needs to lose one to each of its numbers. Yeah. So each of its guns, uh, Barry. Uh, Brian, each of its guns okay. needs to lose. So we're down to five and six then on uh, guns. Uh, right, six, but you I need to actually five. change it on the roll yeah. time or the okay. macros aren't going to work right. Click, click on Perseus. Uh, yeah, I, I've got it. And make it six and five in the orange. Yeah. Aphrodite probably needs to do that as well because it got hit for eight. Well, Aphrodite and... Uh, um, Aphrodite and Hermes both got hit. Right. And I assume Dan, Did Hermes, Dan needs to adjust those numbers if you haven't, Dan. But I, I don't know if Hermes took enough to knock it down one. Uh, uh, Dan, you, you hear what I'm – you get uh, understand what we're saying? Um, if Aphrodite took enough to get a minus one uh, in its hull boxes, then you need to actually – Yeah, it did. It took, it took eight. Yeah, then you need to physically modify the yellow, red, orange, or and yellow circles – to uh, subtract one off each one so the macros work properly. Okay, uh, Brian, what are you shooting at? Okay, so just to double check, Perseus is the only one of my ships that took any damage. That's correct. Okay, we're going to start with the two cruisers, Thebes and Agamemnon. Yep, I see them. So, the Thebes... 
will be shooting at was that indefatigable? Yep. It's yeah. Indefatigable. Okay, so it's medium range. Medium range. Well, call all your call, shots, call, Brian. Yeah, call okay. all your shots, Brian. All right. Thebes on indefatigable. Uh, Agamemnon on. Oh, I'm. No, Thebes on Thebes on honor, right? Thebes on here yeah, on honor. Thebes on honor. Indefat yes. Uh, Agamemnon. On what about your uh, PT PT boats down here? Oh, I'll get to them in a second. Uh, oh, okay. Agamemnon on Indefatigable. Right. Thebes on Honor. Uh, Perseus will be on Honor. Got it. Arethusa will be on Indefatigable. Yeah. Indefatigable. Okay. Hera okay. will be on Honor. Oops. Okay. Shoot. And uh, Cleo will take a shot at the Hussard. Okay. Roger. What do you want to start with? Uh, let's start with the cruisers first. All right. So, so the thieves is medium range to uh, honor. So select thieves. Uh, right. oh, what do you, so, you got a command? You got a command point on there. Is that for outpipes? Uh, no, I use that to move the additional three. Okay. No, no, that is outpipes. I'm sorry. Okay. Everybody's outpipes okay. on this one. Okay, I was just say, make sure you remove your command points if you've already spent them on movement. Okay, so so Thebes is using outpipes. You're going to reroll two uh, heavy dice. Okay, so select Thebes and hit the fire, at medium, range. fire at medium range. The medium range. Yep, and we'll see, we'll see what you get. I see three successes. Okay. So medium range uh, with uh, outpipes, you're going to reroll two of those. Uh, Must explode five plus or six plus? Uh, five plus. A medium range heavy guns hit on five or six, so you want five plus. So explode five two plus. 2d6. Two. Yeah, hit two. Put two in. There you go. So one more success. So that's a total of four success, four hits on uh, honor. Rob. All right. Honor's down, so you can just skip all the other ships shooting at Honor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Wow. All right. Well, the eggs and bacon will take a shot at the indefatigable then. And I'm that's I'm almost certain that's medium range as well. Uh -huh. So. <clears throat> I didn't realize that. I thought. Uh, well, I guess that's true. They only take sixteen hits to sink a French light cruiser, huh? Honor's been pounded pretty heavily. Even though, even though Rob repaired a couple of points. Uh, or one so that's point. five successes. That's five. Successes. And I'm gonna I'm gonna out pipes for the. Uh, for the two. Yep. So that's again explode five plus. Shit, that's three more then. That's eight. That's eight hits on indefatigable. Okay. All right. Well, so we can skip the Hera. We can skip the Perseus. So Arethusa yes. takes a shot at Indefatigable. Right, Pretty cool. sure that's uh, close range. Arethusa was targeting Hussard. No, Cleo was the target. No, Hussard. Cleo was targeting Hussard. Yeah, he said Arethusa was a target. Oh, okay. For, uh, indefatigable. So click on Arethusa and. Uh, and short range it is. And short range. Oh, five successes. Seven successes total. I know. Well, I'm looking at the medium guns alone. Holy cow. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure it's down. <laughs> well, that's seven hits. Just, that's, that's seven hits on indefatigable. Hey, Rob, hey, it's gone. Indefatigable. Yeah, gone? it's good. Oh crap. Oh yeah, it's gone. <laughs> All right. Wow. That's a light cruiser. I know. I know. I hear you. Cleo, Cleo, you're firing at Hassan. It, it can't withstand fire from a heavy cruiser and lots of destroyers. I get you. <laughs> Uh, all right, yes, uh, yeah, Cleo, you're firing at yeah. short, short range. Short range again. Yep. Seven successes. 
successes. Oh, oh that's that's everything. That, that was that was there. That's clear. Seven successes with medium. Wow. I'll get all those sixes. Uh, you can you can take a Zard out too. <laughs> <laughs> There's not even kindling left. Wow, the uh, <laughs> the British are firing better than the French today. All right. That's, that's yeah. pretty historical. I think I think there's a hole in the water where the hole in the water was. Yeah. <laughs> we're, in the, we're in the air. Brian, this is got, all aviation. It's all aviation. Brian, you got anything else? I think that's it, right? No. No, because uh, one, you did one of the targets have already disintegrated. Yeah, you did enough damage. All right. Take off your command points on it, everything, and it is. Mike, you can finish your Mike, you can finish your turn. All right. Hey, Mike, should we run like hell? <laughs> <laughs> Hell no! Fire! Mike's entire, torpedoes, Mike's, man. Mike's entire force is untouched. Bear, Rob is taking the brunt of the of the attack, giving Mike a free free reign here. Six torpedoes oh, in. Mission that's, accomplished. That's because I Barry, didn't roll, yeah. I didn't put enough points into it and roll well enough because I was going to take out Mike's force well, as much as I could this turn Wubaki, myself. Wubaki, oh my god! Try to kill all those PT Wubaki's, boats. Wubaki's descendant apparently uh, did his job well. He sacrificed. Uh, third of the fleet so he could uh, draw them towards him uh, they're just french it's okay <laughs> <laughs> they're french torpedo boats this is how they always go oh uh, well, you think so surrendering right it's that's why when, when we play with real miniatures the name of my french torpedo boats are like flambe <laughs> I'm serious. I named them Flambe, Brachette. I, I They're all get, like barbecue uh, names. I, I had to put I, I had to put torpe I had to put French torpedo boats out for you, Rob. You knew that, right? Uh, yes, because they're glorious. They yep. die often yep. and well. I think my I think my real models are. I'm gonna look it up on my computer, but I think I have Brachette, Flambe, and maybe Fondue. <laughs> fondue, love it. Because they always die. Every, I don't think they ever survive a game, but if they make torpedoes, man, mission accomplished. Pop a cold one and go home. Even in a box. Or multiple boxes. Or D. That's okay, too. I see a lot of torpedoes being fired. Oh, yeah. This is glorious. You know, I got to go to Brigade Games and see what a Hussard torpedo boat looks like now. Oh, they're 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 nice. I got about six of them, I think. When we when we play this with real miniatures, I throw a whole bunch of French torpedo craft down. They just go around to warm. Oh, here they are. Yeah, I was right. My my ships are named Brachette, Flambe, and Fondue. <laughs> nice. Fondue is my favorite. And then my British ships are named after famous British disasters like Isandawana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wanted to name my British sailing ships after... Yeah, okay, you know how the battle cruisers are all like I names? indefatigable, invincible. I wanted to name them things like um, incontinent. Uh, I go for de incorrigible. Town. Incorrigible was one of town. Yorktown and the Isandawana. Massive British massacres. There you go. I just, I just, for, for, for all those, for all those who want to know, look in the, uh, look in the Imperial Skies text chat. I just pasted the Hussard. Brian, if you want to know what the Hussard, Hussard looks just, like, there's the Hussard for you. Yeah, I, I think it's over Gage James. It's a snazzy looking little craft. There you go. There's your Hussard. Its whole purpose is to fire two torpedoes. <laughs> if it gets to fire four, that's great. Yeah, there you go. But at least two. Oh, there's the hard point. You don't sign on to them expecting a career. It's a torpedo delivery system. That's all it is. <laughs> That's all it is. It's not a. It's not. It's a torpedo delivery. Flambe. All right, all right Mike. Yeah. May the dice God smile on you. Mike's about to deliver. 
seven seven got a capital away. ship back home and drink some champagne that's it all right all right what, what, so, are, you, what are you targeting here mike uh, both 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 british capital ships are within 14 inches uh, so. britain yeah. Uh, you want Britannia? You want to hit on fives? You want to hit on fives, Mike? Yeah, that's true. Ten inches is ten inches is the sweet spot here. Uh, although no, nope. that's ah. Pervier. A Pervier is oh. gonna, Pervier is going to miss. Panthers. Panthers not within ten. So there are only a few within. Yeah, 10. but you got a fourteen-inch range. Yeah, if you want to shot when you have it. You want to take the long-range shot? Yeah. All right, so call your you're shots. not gonna live. Call, call your shots, Mike. We're, we're, hey. we're ten inches or fourteen. Okay, so they. Oh God, I gotta zoom in so I can read the fucking name. <laughs> Let's just say all your torpedoes are going at Britannia. Okay, so oh come on, back up. Okay, so. The far outside one, Epe, Epi, whatever, Epe, Epevier, Epevier, yeah. He's going after the, what is this, the, not the Britannia, but the second British one. Okay, we're going to do this. Okay, we're going to do this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to do. Mike, you got to concentrate fire. You got to put all the torps on where's, Britannia. Where's, what's, what's a per, what's a Pervier firing at, Mike? And, and what is that? The bow, bow made? What's Benbow? like uh, Benbow? The Pervier is firing at Benbow. Benbow. Yeah, the Benbow. It's within. Okay. What's the uh, what's the uh, the Leon? Yeah. What's the uh, Leon firing at? Same. At Benbow. Yeah. Okay. What's the uh, Panther firing at? Um, Pantera, is it within uh, 10 of the Britannia? Yeah, you got to measure it. Uh, Panther, Panther is 12 inches from the Britannia. Too far away. Well, too wa so it's got to go after the Britannia. Okay, so oh, it's yeah. at the Britannia. So right. the Panther is at the Britannia. All right. The Tiger. Hold on. So the you, might, you might want to go ahead after those two... Uh... Those two cruisers, simply because they're closer, you got a much better chance to do damage to them. Oh, we're going after the big boys. Okay. okay so the, um, yeah, the, boy. the Tiger is going after the Britannia. I'm going to run away before you do. That way, when you kill me, I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to witness it. Right. I have to go for the Tiger. night. Tiger, all right, Tiger is going after the Britannia. Well, this might be when you'd want to use that brace for impact. Right. Tiger, uh, Tiger is going after the Britannia. All right. The Lynx is going after the Britannia. Okay, we're going to brace for impact. The Aggie is going after the Britannia. Aggie the is... Milan is going after the Britannia. And, and the captain has just jumped overboard and swam away. <laughs> the Milan is going after the Britannia. Oh, uh, yeah, we're bracing for impact. Have I missed anything? I don't think so. Okay. The, well, they all got... Two that's, that's seven. That's two. They're, they're two hits each. Yeah, that's seven. Okay, what about your capital right. ship? What about your uh, light cruisers? My 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 light guns will go against the uh, the Athens and the Artem, whatever this Artemis or Arteris or whatever. Atreus. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So you, don't, you don't have a broad. You may want to go after those destroyers because you don't. You have broadside on the destroyers. That's true. You're gonna your light guns are gonna be halved against the uh, capital ships in front of you. All right. Well, we'll the uh, we'll throw the Milan, the Aggie, and the Lynx against the uh, what is it? The uh, what's the first destroyer here? The Amphinomy. Is that it? Okay. The Amphinomy. Okay. So the so the Lynx, the Aggie. So there's the Milan. There's the Aggie. And there's the links at that for short range, right? Okay, what about the other right. four? So you got, and then the, well, the links you didn't get in there. There you go. And uh, the Pantair, the Tigra, Leon, they'll all go against the Hermes. Okay, so there. 
It should be four of them against the Hermes. There. 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 And there. Good? We good? All right, so now we just start shooting, right? Yeah, don't you have uh don't you have any cruisers? Yeah, you got your cruisers. What about, what about uh -huh. indom what about indomitable and form formidable back here? Do you have any shots? Right. Let's oh, see. Yeah. How close are they? Let me back out. Shots, 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 shots. Short shot, range shot, to the Hermes. Yeah. They could both have either short range to the Aphrodite or the Hermes. Yeah. What about the cruisers? Let me get my yeah. tape measure out here. You want to they both have short range, range to either one. Either one. Pick, pick a, you want to, you, why don't you gang up on the Aphrodite since the destroyers are all hitting, the torpedo boats are all hitting the Hermes. So no, hit, uh, hit the destroyers in front because you got broadside. All yeah. right, so we'll go um, one against the Aphrodites and one against the Herm. Or, uh, we'll send both the cruisers against the Aphrodites. All right, so both yes. both cruisers are hitting Aphrodite. All right, Dark Fleet battles Doctrine. Cut there's, straight fire. There's your fire. There's your fire arcs. All right, what do you got? What do you want to resolve first? Well, just. Like, there we go. That would be close range, right? So you want to do the cruisers? You want to do your cruisers first? Right. I've got the abdominal going first. I right, select the abdominal, and you're gonna got it. Yeah, you're gonna click. Uh, you're gonna click short range. Fire short range for the abdominal. Six. Uh, so six hits against Aphrodite. Okay. And that's against uh, Hermes. And that's well, no, that's the... against that's against they're both against the Aphrodite. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, he he yeah, committed yeah, all yeah, fire yeah, on yeah, Aphrodite. Yeah, yeah, that's three, four, five, that's six more. That's a total of twelve altogether. So All right, so that, that ought to take care of the cruisers, correct? Yes, I just removed their green lines. Okay, so now Aphrodite's taking 12 hits. So now what's next? So we'll start with the Pantera. Okay, Pantera, short range, that, all the all the green lines. You're going to do all the green lines first? Yeah. Select Pantera and hit, yeah, hit the short range button, the fire short range. Okay, Pantera missed. Tigra? Yeah. You, can, you don't have to. You, they're all the same, so you can select any of the any of the ships in uh, fire. They're all got the same guns. So zero successes so far. Nope. Damn. Right. On no, no, no hits. That was no successful. Hits, no, no hits for small guns. Right? No hits. All right. Small guns. So we get rid of these. Three more. Lines. One. Two. Oh, hey. oh, 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 here come the here come the exploding dice. Three hits. Oh, boy. Amphetamine. And the last one, I believe, right? Yep, yep. Oh! There you go. You saw the exploding dice. It's two more. So two, two. So a total of five hits against Amphetamine. Okay. Short guns. All right, we'll do the two against the Benbow. Okay, so now you're gonna roll that. Uh, that's a 14 inch range, I believe, right? These are these are all these two. These are all long range. Yeah, 14.1 yeah. and now. Okay, that's so. Hold on, this one. Ooh, it's technically out of range, but I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. All right, so uh, so both uh, both of the shot torpedo shots against Benbo are outside ten inches, so you need sixes. So you're gonna roll. You're gonna basically click the torpedoes at fourteen inch range button twice. There's a hit. All right, and the second one. Shall. Okay, so one torpedo of the four hit. You're going to roll 1d6. So where the question mark d6 button is in the lower left corner, click that and hit 1. Enter 1 and just hit 1d6 for the number of hull hits on Benbo. Five hits on Benbo. So Benbo takes five hits from a one torpedo. All right. So now we've got... Ouch. Uh, come on. 
Okay, Pantera, I believe, is 14. Well, and possibly, is it Leon? Well, 14. Measure. Let's measure. Pantera, center to center of ship, is 12.2. That's over 10. Leon, uh, Tigra, is over 10. Um. So those are for two, four, two at yeah, fourteen. So two fourteen. Let's do Pantera and Tigra. They're two at fourteen. Miss. Second one. There's one hit. Okay, roll a D six. Uh, we go ahead and roll a D six. He said brace for impact. Did he? Yes. Yes, she did. She did. Okay. Uh, that's four. But we'll so that's add a miss. And then divide by two. So that's no. You roll it. So it's a four re misses. It doesn't wave it. No. It's a, it's, a re it's two dice. It's a it's up to four dice reroll. So she's declaring that. So you need to roll those two that those four that uh, fourteen inch. That was 14 only inch. the hit. Yeah, roll it. Roll roll the two dice for the fourteen hit again. No, just the one that hit. No, you fire. You reroll. You make the other person reroll the shooting dice, not the damage dice, but the shooting dice. I understand, but you're only making him reroll one dice, not Correct. two. Correct. Correct. So you one dice. One dice. You need another six. You failed. All right. So those torpedoes. So that's one of your four rerolls, Dory. You have three more, I believe, because if you Dory's out, it, she left. Oh, I'm sorry. Who's commanding? Okay, that? so I've got Silas. You're commanding that. So yes, I, 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 didn't, I didn't hear. I'm sorry. I didn't hear Dory. Dory leave. Um, okay, so I got three at ten, right? Yeah, four incoming dice that targets this turn. So yes. Reroll. Okay, reroll the six. Or just. Roll, roll one, one d six, and if you roll a five or six, it's a hit. Okay, that's a miss. That was the legs. Uh, that's the legs. Now yeah. the Aggie. Okay, re roll uh, hit. Is this uh? Wait, wait, wait. That wasn't a. Was that's that a ten. Tor was that a torpedo hit? That's a hit. A five or a six, right? Yeah, but I got a four and a five, and it's saying two hits. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you hit the? Did you roll the torpedoes at ten inch, or did you roll something else? Yes, Mike. Torpedoes at ten. That should have been. Is it ten or ten point one? It shouldn't need. A, it shouldn't be four better. It should be, it five, should be a one hit re-roll one, right? It should be five or six, and you uh, one hit is a five at ten inches. So re-roll one. That's a four. That's a you're you're hitting this you're hitting the success you're hitting the do, uh, question mark d6 explode dice I think no I'm hitting I'm hitting torpedoes at 10 inch range yeah that's okay okay all right all right and she still has one reroll left which she should have used back, back on uh, Rob's way back when that's fine so that's a miss so oh, those, well. those all missed. So all torpedoes missed, except well, for the one on the, the Benbow. Except the one that hits Benbow, yeah, because she braced for impact. Got it. So the command, so the command dice, the command dice is is removed. Uh, that's it. Okay. All so, right. So housekeeping. I think after. Oh, 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 we're not done yet. Yet. Hold on, we're not done. Yet. We're not done yet. What, what Aphrodite? What? You think it's dead? Aphrodite should be dead. It took 12 hits this round. Dan, are you uh, with us? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, no. Uh, Arethusa takes... You're right. Uh, no, Arethusa takes 16 hits to, to sink. The Arethusa class takes 16 hits to sink. Uh, so image small, already small, small, knocking small. it down to the minus one level right. turn and then it took Effort, how much i was letting it all finish Dan, how much i'm not arguing anything i right. can we get finished and then we'll go on and we'll deal with it 
I haven't moved yet this turn. Is Aphrodite dead, though? Yeah. Okay, let's put a flame on it. You she took move. a total of 21. Yeah, you, can't, you can't move. You can't move something. As no, dead. I wasn't. Yeah, he I was know. doing other things. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. is anything else dead? I don't think. Well, I've been, I've been marking him when he dies. When you die, you die. Yeah, that's fine. I, he was just busy doing other things. I that's wasn't. Fine. We're good. Okay. Didn't interrupt. All right, no problem. I so think Mike, I think Mike's sh Mike's shots are done now. Mike's, Mike's I'm shots done. are done. So Mike's shots are done. So everybody, everybody. So the uh, the British and French in this area, uh, obser ob uh, observers on the decks of the British and French ships in this area, who are 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 you know basically spotting the enemy and, and, and just generally observing, have suddenly detected a new arrival to the to to the situation. So there's a disturbance. There is a disturbance in the surface of the water here. And I'm going to make sure everybody's aware. Where? Of there. In in the Suez Canal. I don't see walk, anything. You should. I, I'm pigging. No. I, I'm pigging a place here. Upper right corner of the Anybody map. Anybody else see it? Upper I right don't see Nobody map. sees us. Upper right corner of the map. You don't see it. Uh, no. Okay. Let's try, let's try that. Now, oh, yeah. yeah. Right, there I, we yeah, go. I had to be on the right. I don't see it. Nope. I yeah. see it. Huh. Yes, you do. So there's a disturbance in the water, surface of the water, um, as uh, a new uh, a vessel, uh, what appears to be a creature or vessel, uh, begins to. Could rise. it be parts of the Hussard falling to earth? Bega begins to rise. <laughs> begins to rise out of the water, and begins to rise above the water. Uh, and and, and the, 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 no, nobody in this vicinity, nobody in this vicinity, as uh, uh, nobody in this vicinity has ever seen anything quite like this this vessel it's or purple. creature that is rising out of the water and and gaining altitude gradually. <laughs> okay. It's purple. It, it is purple. It is purple because you know there are there are there are pretty uh, strange strange things in this world. In it's this Chinese in this Victorian science fiction world that we are. <coughs> a purple creature slash vessel as he It's a purple from the people water eater of the Suez Canal. In the meantime, it's now Dan's turn. Dan, Dory, and Silas can all work simultaneously because they're all on the same side. Dory's not here, so Dan and Silas. Finish out the turn for us, and we'll be done for tonight. So, I'm thinking this uh, purple monster is British. <laughs> Does well, it speak English? So let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. This purple Let me put it this way. This purple entity has arisen from the water. Uh, and is uh, and is is too too low to be shot at, first of all. So it cannot be targeted currently, but it has made an appearance, and it is raising raising some some curiosity aboard the ships closest to it. That's all I'll say. And we'll continue this next Thursday for anybody who wants to get, to play on. Well, we got to finish the turn. I mean, it's, yeah, it's Dan, Andy, Dan, Andy's Dan, go, and then Dan, Dan, and I'm done. I am done. I've revealed. Yeah. I've revealed my surprise. Got it. My purple people leader, Dan and Silas, are now finishing out the turn for the English. Nice. And then we will start again Thursday night next week. And then maybe there may be reserves. Reserves may arrive. No or French. Aren't you so an entire, entire second, a third fleet could even arrive. Who knows? What does this purple people here really mean? Is it here? Is it here? Is it here to have lunch? <laughs> what language does it speak? Is it from another world? <sighs> is it a, is it Wonder what it is. Is it a Martian? Is it a Martian? Andy. Yeah. Just to be sure, but I believe I just crossed the T on those two just two ships here, 
And if I read the read that right, that gives me an extra two dice on my guns. About Is that Hermes? correct? You're talking about the Hermes here? Yep. That, that would be crossing the T. Yes, it would. Well, yeah, hey, uh, yeah. I've got to go right quick, but I have a couple of questions. Yes, sir. One, for people who play this regularly, what major fleets are not do people not have collections for? Russian. I, I've not seen anybody in, in uh, Houston with a Russian fleet. Honestly, unless Rob, Rob, you can think of somebody who has one. I have some no, Russians, I but I'm right. a, I have Russian, but I'm like fifteen hundred miles away from you. Yeah, that where is are you, Silas? I'm in North Idaho. Nice, wow. welcome, Silas. Silas is a um, reg- Silas is a regular in my monthly D and D game. He's a, yeah, okay. Nice. There's a guy named Lance. Uh, I don't know Lance's last name, but uh, he's in Austin. He's got a Russian. Yeah. Lance Lance from Austin has Russians. But uh, Steve, we haven't seen Steve Holt. That, uh, Steve's got Turk. Yeah, Steve Holt. He's got Turks. He's got, he's got okay, Italians, that I've got French. Austro-Hungarians, I think. But huh. Brian, just go to Brigade and buy whatever's cool. I mean, honestly, just build whatever you want. But I, I've got uh, British and French. Andy's got Austrian. I've Sandy got, Botan's got Germans. I've got I've got Austrian and I've got uh, Benelux. I've got Be- Belgium Luxembourg. But I've not I've not painted any of them. But I, those are the only two but, groups. But Brian, uh, go yeah. for whatever you want. Whatever yeah, looks get, cool. Get thee behind me, Satan. Actually, actually. <laughs> Actually, hey Brian, if Brian, you buy Aeronefs, we all win. Actually, Brian, <laughs> you actually, all win. I might sleep outside. Actually, Brian, <laughs> Brian, the only actually Brian, the only person I knew who had Americans was Gar, and Gar had yeah. had scratch built all of his models. I have them. Oh. He gave them to me, but but I don't think he has any necessarily any or this force doesn't have any of the Brigade Americans. So we're, we, right. we, well, really don't, we really Hall, don't have an American force. The yeah, White Hall, the Great White Fleet. Yeah, the White Hall, Fleet. yellow control services are indeed pretty. Yeah. And yeah. one last one last thing before I go. Since your purple monster is rising out of the water, I presume there's water Ooh. falling off of it. There's water falling off of it, yes. And that would be purple rain. Purple rain, yes. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, nice. Oh, nice. Oh, Brian, before you go, can you join us Thursday next week? To finish I'm going to try. Okay, good. I think so. All right, good. Look forward to it. Good night. Uh, who all, good night. Uh, Rob, you said you're attending the conference, uh, New Orleans conference tomorrow? Yeah, it's tomorrow. I'll be at a couple of the sessions. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can't beat the... Hey, you can't beat the price. Oh, Normally, God. this conference is like eight hundred bucks, and it's free. Eight hundred bucks! Wow. But tomorrow, gonna... it's free. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, Silas, are you going to actually attack with those uh, soft widths against these guys? Oh, definitely. Because so you each it takes a six, but I think you can gang up. I mean, I don't know. You get six dice yeah. or something. Six well, yeah, six dice, dice or six planes, and they're shooting at the one. Oh, they only shoot at one? That's what so I would think since they're flying attack. in a flight. Okay. You get a six dice attack. But they're exploding okay. dice. Yeah. Andy, they're what's the gonna... uh, significance of the Custler? Because we do notice the name. Yeah, well, he he might be in, he might be in command, much like Rick Toffins. Uh, is he a young lieutenant, a lieutenant a, a at long, this point? A long lieutenant who is commanding a wing of a fight of Hopwiss aboard uh, and, and, yes, or I, the or the descendant of the Custler family is uh, maybe. I, maybe I thought he was death. American though. Well, well, you know, wait, he, sorry. He's he's he, the Custler family has got uh, got genes in a number of different nationalities. Oh, uh, oh, of course. The, All right. The son of the daughter uh, is English. I mean, <laughs> clearly, clearly, Naturally. Clearly, there's crossbreeding going on between uh, the Custler family line. Well, you know, it's a special uh, relationship across the pond. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. Is there a Rami? You won't find an Austro-Hungarian <laughs> Cussler, you know, or a, uh, or a Japanese Cussler necessarily. But I heard there's a pretty maiden in a port in Yokohama that got involved with a Cussler, yeah, so well, you never yeah. know. So there could be. Where is, uh, what's his name? Um Who who did you do that big game with, Andy? What's his name? Oh, uh, uh, Lance. 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 No, you thinking? No, about, sorry. Oh, you're thinking about Brent Lloyd? Yeah, Brent. Brent. Yeah, Brent. where's Brent? He lives in De COVID. What happened to Brent? Brent's around. He's Canadian, but he lives in uh, Deer Park, or he lives sort of in Barry's Barry's neck of the woods, right? <laughs> Yeah, he, he lives down in... Uh, With Brent in the last year. Clear Lake. Or, he, he's, he's sort of in, in Barry and Brian's area. Is he not a virtual gaming guy? I don't think so. No, he doesn't do. Not that I know of. How do you, you know, realize it's been a year since Alcon now. It's been a year. This is Last uh, game. Our last face-to-face -face game was at T and Victory a year ago this week. I mean, that's we, we were playing Imperial Skies. Yeah, I didn't make it, and so it was Alcon for me. So that was the last weekend of February. Yep. We ran that uh, what a tanker game in uh, yep. set in uh, yep. Cologne. That was the last game of Alcon. And I think I think I think I recall after the event that that, that somebody one or two people reported testing positive for COVID right after Alcon. Somebody who had been at Alcon, you know, there was oh, really. Yeah, I never heard that. Yeah. Yeah, apparently, apparently, I mean, COVID was at Alcon. Uh, I don't know how many people. Oh said, shit! Yeah, was, I didn't know that. Wow. But a, but a couple. I think it was a, a, a one or two. I, it wasn't very many that I heard of. But somebody wow. else was was sick as a result of the con. Well, we went to the rodeo the last night before they canceled it. Oh. Yeah, we were literally in that crowd going, "I don't know if we should really be here." <laughs> With I've had, I've seventy. Had my thousand people i had my first i had my I, I had my first shot three weeks ago i got my second and last uh, moderna shot well second moderna shot next a uh, week from tomorrow so you have week. to go back up north yes, to get it yes or? i have to go to the back to the CVS. Uh, we all have to go back to the cvs but we're going to go on uh, we're gonna, that's okay we're going to go on to my mother and father-in-law's house in oklahoma i mean i work from home so i can work from any home not just my yeah home. yeah that's true so we're laptop you know laptop all right do i do I go ahead and shoot? Yeah, Dan, if you're done. Yeah, with... man. Call, call your shots and then roll your dice. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to take uh, the Art Artemis. It's going to fire at, I guess, two of these guys, two of the little PT boats. Artemis. Art Atreus. Atreus? Yeah. Okay. Atrium. Atrium. Atreus. Okay, what's Atreus yeah. firing at? Well, he's going to fire at these two guys. This one. Oh, ah. oh, Arethusa. You're talking about Arethusa. You're talking about this shot. Yeah, Arethusa is going to fire at Hussard and Hussard. So you're gonna Milan and... You're going to split your fire. Milan yeah. and LG. And he's crossing the T, so he gets an extra two dice. Okay. What's Athens, Total, what's, not, what's Athens firing at? Uh, yeah, the Athens. Where's the Athens? Um, no, that's like she's three? she's gonna probably come down here. <laughs> but this guy is going at two of these. Right, would you say there and there? When you say this guy, I can't see what you're pointing at. Uh, use names. He. Art. Art. Arthusa Arthusa is going after both the Milan and the I marked that. Aggie. I marked that. And the algae. Yes, okay. What about Athens and then Ephidemy? Ephidemy uh, is going to go after the uh Indomitable. Well, actually she he's going to she's going to probably go after the Lynx and the uh, 
Panther and Tiger? Panther, or, Pan uh, Panther uh, yeah. Oh, oh, hold on. And splitter fire. Oh, I don't want to do that. Stop that. Sorry. Hold on. Okay. All right. So, Amphitamy. I got a question on this crossing the T thing. It, 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 I think it only works at medium range. Short range, it, it doesn't come into effect. Well, right, let, me look, let me look at the quick ones. Or the rules. Okay, uh, crossing T of target ship. Let's look at the rules. Crossing the T. It's not used very often, so let's see how it works. Just says crossing the T of a target ship is a plus two dice. Yeah, I'm just checking to see that, but there might be special rules. Uh, and it's on page 30. It says it's possible at medium range only. Oh, how nice. Okay. 30. That's interesting. Medium range only. Oh, wow. Well, I've had. Okay. I wish it said that in this uh, gun die modifier page. Well, you're still at close range in a yeah. position to uh, fire with all full effectiveness. Oh, all right, yeah. So, all right. So I'm sorry. Uh, again, um, Dan, what is Amphitomy firing at? Is it firing at a uh, capital ship or one of the destroyers? Or one of the, the, the torpedo boats? It's going to fire at the two, two torpedo boats. Lynx and... Lynx and Leon? Lynx and Lion? Or... Yeah. Okay, so this is firing at this. Amphitomy is firing at Lynx. And as long as it's not over... As long as it's Leon. the range isn't... Yeah, within 10 inches. That's all within 10 inches. What about yeah. uh, what about Athens? Which is the cru light cruiser you have in the middle of that mess. Mess. He's... I was going to send him down against the Indomitable. Oh, just like running out of things. Okay, so he is firing at the Indomitable. All right. And Hermes and Arturus will uh, go ahead and both fire at the Informidable. Hermes and Atreus are going to fire at that ship. Right. Okay. Okay. What do you want to shoot first? It's all short range, so what do you want to shoot first? Now, is any of this... We'll ship, start up. Have, have any of these ships taken damage? Your ships? Yes, the Hermes. Okay, the Hermes... The, so it's currently showing six orange and five yellow dice, guns. Is it That's correct. Okay, I want to make sure it has... Eight. Taken, Okay, so it's taking a hit on each. Okay, that's fine. That's good. Okay. All right, so what are you going to shoot first? I'll start up here at the Art... Art... Arthusa? Art okay. Arthusa. Okay. Okay. Arthia. Okay. So which is... Right, I'm so splitting my fire. could be a bad idea now because I didn't realize I was not going to get the plus two dice, but... Right. So, so click on the Arathusa, hit short... Fire at short range, and we'll divide the successes, if any, between the two <laughs> So you got a total of five. You got a total of five successes. So two go on each ship, and you get to allocate the third one to whichever ship you prefer. Milan. All right. So Milan takes three, and Algy take, takes two. So Milan's down. Milan is down. All right. Flambe. <laughs> So that is red dice, you said? Yeah, we use, I'm using red dice to mark damage. Okay, those two are those two are done. Oh. You want red dice to mark damage? I'm sorry. That's what I've been using. Black so dice for command, red dice for damage. There. Okay. So everybody knows. 
and so it's easy to keep track if you don't have a piece of paper you want to track it that way okay uh, amphetamine same thing all right so you got three successes total from amphetamine so yep. one goes on, so one goes on leon one goes on uh links where do you want the other one uh two on leon okay mike two on leon one on links yeah didn't do well there oh well all right hermes okay uh That's Hermes against uh, form, uh, Formidable. Hermes Looks like formidable two. Two successes against Formidable, Mike. Formidable, two? Yeah, it takes two. Yeah. Yep. Formidable takes two. Okay. And then him, my the bigger guy. Okay, so... The Arturus. Atreus Ar Ar against... Artius. Atreus against Same. Formidable. The formidable. Yeah, if I get short range, select Atreus, hit short range. Eight, six, seven, nine, six, seven, nine, nine, nine successes against. Uh, so that's in addition to the two. Yes. Yeah. So eleven all together. Yes. Right, and then finally uh, Athens against uh, Indomitable. Three, four, five, six. So Indomitable takes six hits. Oh, I'm sorry. And uh, there's two more exploding uh, at four plus from both Arturus and. Agamemnon. Using outpipes. Yep. So one so more for formidable. Yep. One more so for how many and more? three. One more on formidable. So it goes to seven. Or no. And what about, uh, yeah, and no successes on, on Indom no more successes on Indomitable. No more hits on Indomitable. All right, so that's it. Um, yeah, and then I get to see if I can, no, I guess, repair had, anything. Yeah, say you had two command points on At Athens and Atreus, so you, you spent one each on uh, outpipes. I don't know what you want to spend the rest of the command, the other command point on. Hermes has a command point on it. I'm not sure what that was for. I was going to repair two holes. Right, that's two holes. What was that on Atreus or Athens? Hermes. Hermes. Okay. Two holes on Hermes. So take that. Black Atreus black. and uh, and uh, Panther or Athens. They've not been damaged. Okay. I just saw two. Pips. Um, I saw two pips showing on them. So. Yeah, no, there was, there was something. Uh, no, 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 yeah, no. there was two. All right, Silas, you done? Oh, well. Is that you good, Dan? I think that's it. All right, Silas. I think that's all I can do. Silas, uh, wrap it up. Okay. As you can see, she. Oh wait, wait, wait. Sorry, I gotta change. Go ahead, Silas. I'm. I've got to. I just have to change this around. Britannia can't shoot at anything. And so um, the fighter aircraft will shoot against um, Epivir. Epivir, uh, PVA? Okay, so you're going to just roll uh, uh, select, Six. select the Custler and hit short, short range. Just one. One hit. One hit on a pair of VA. Mike. All right, let me zero in so I can find it again. That's the south one. Right here. Yep. yep. Okay. 
And the Benbo is going to shoot his big guns at the Indomitable. Okay, that's at what range? Indomitable. Uh, Let's find out. Yeah, yeah what range is that? Uh, over okay, so long right. range. Yeah, so Benbo just hit Benbo and hit long range. Oh, one seriously? Hit. Yeah, you got one hit. I guess maybe they're distracted now about this big orange monster. Maybe. Right. And it's purple. What do you mean, oh, orange? Purple. purple, orange, yeah. Um, and now Benbo is going to um, shoot at the albatross. Oh. I have, to, I can only shoot at two <laughs> different vehicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so the, so the, the yeah, you have to call the dice. Yeah, the you have to split one, your dice up. Well, the main guns, the main guns have all fired because the main guns were the only ones that uh -huh. range before. So we'll ignore any main gun hits. So, uh, okay. So what are you shooting? Medium at? range. Uh, what, what are you shooting at? The albatross. The albatross should be. Oh range. dear God. The albatross should be. Short range. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm sure it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. Short that's short range. range. So it's like, it's like a getting it's like a getting shot at by 11 guns. Short range. <laughs> Fire at short range with a Benbow. Do your best, sir. That's so, zero success. Or I haven't even shot yet. Oh, and rolled yet. I'm no bracing idea. myself. I'm bracing myself for eleven rolls with exploding wait sixes. A wait a minute. Was that it? No, no. That's... I haven't seen it roll yet. Oh. Okay, oh, what I did was you had albatross. Alert. Yeah, the wrong ship yeah, I did. Uh, yeah, the target. Yeah, so like, click Benbo. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Ah. There we right, go. Right, right. The eight successes. Well, the good news is we can ignore the eight. eight. Yes, so it's four. But the bad news is the three mediums are enough to kill it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's good he, news and bad news there. And now he's going to do out pipes. With his big guns against the Indomitable. Oh, okay. Well, all right. That's fine. You should have called that earlier, but that's fine. Yeah. So uh, that's going to be two. You're going to need the, the question mark D6 explode six. So click on the question mark D6 explode six because it's a long range with the heavy guns. And then you're going to enter two. And then you're going to be rolling two dice again with the heavy guns at, at long range. I... Don't have that question mark thing. Right, go to your go to your collections. Go up to the upper right corner of your screen under collection uh -huh. gear. Turn add to bar the first four macros you see in the list. Add, add to bar all four of those top macros. Question mark D six. Question mark D six explode four plus five plus and six. Then click on the question mark D explode six the uh, in the bottom of your screen and enter two and hit enter. And hit enter. Okay, question mark D six and two. Yeah. Got it. And nope, that's you, no. You rolled, you rolled two D six. That was the wrong one. The question mark D six explode six. You see that button? Oh, okay. Enter two and hit that one. No successes. So there were no additional successes on that roll. But I had a critical fail. Does that mean I blew up my cannon? No. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so Benbo is done. So the so the so that Benbo's that, done. That brings us to the end of turn three. All right, gentlemen. If you Very roll, good. You now roll. your macros were fantastic. Well, yeah, I love them. I'll I'll see if I can inter implement a uh, undo. I think it would be cool to have an undo. Case, cause, cause or case or a negative because we can right. undo it if we negative it. Yeah. You did a good job explaining the game and the rules. I was a little confused, but we got that thing now. And yeah, well, if you, uh, if, yeah, if you haven't played Imperial Skies before, it, it's you know, it's a new game. So for those who yeah, you really did play well. 
and uh, we got started really pretty quick compared to everything else we played that's new. So uh, that was very good. It's an interesting scenario. Yeah, well, there's still, I mean, there's still, there's still enough, there's still these guns killing that uh, purple thing, but then that is, that's your choice. Well, you know, you don't know what that purple thing is. Maybe it'll bring the French and British together against the common foe. But the, the, we'll see. Well, we'll see, we'll see what's well, it depends on what blue, yeah, pigs. blue and red can fly. Blue and red mix. Yeah. So, uh, anyway, if you guys are game for next Thursday night, anybody can make it, I'll be here. Sounds like okay. a plan. Very good. Other news. That sounds uh, good. Uh, and then we've got to deal with this other thing that's arisen from the, the depths of something ugly well that that that, that uh, that's up for you to, to decide whether it's a threat uh, or not depends upon if it shoots or not huh well, Whoever has the initiative. Well, right now it's out, outside of, right now it's outside of uh, gun, uh, of, uh perceived gun range well, there, there certainly aren't any french ships left anywhere near it i'll also point out that i'll also point out that it's risen above the surface of the water so that size that you see that 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 purple people eater right now represents something that's hundreds of feet lower than you. So don't assume that's the actual size of the thing. That's how big it is. This thing could water. be absolutely huge. That, that's what it's. That's the size of it coming out of the water. Kraken. So mm -hmm. a flying kraken. So basically, there's one PT boat from Rob's left. Yes. And unfortunately, I did not do a very good job of killing enough of these PT boats over here. Well, they each have two torpedoes left, but yeah. Like I said, it's, it's quite feasible that next... But I did do a number on these uh, light cruisers. Well, it's possible the next... That They're next not week, happy. Look, it's possible that next week a new wave of, a new wave of forces could appear for anybody. So don't, don't count mm -hmm. anybody out yet. Yeah. Or another oh no no I wasn't I wasn't thinking that it's just uh, the the French are uh, definitely down a bunch of ships because it looks like uh, Brian's force is pretty untouched. So in other news, tomorrow's the World War II conference, uh, which is free if anybody's interested. And then uh, there's oh. also an event. Uh, face to face event popping up the first weekend of June in New Orleans um, at the Higgins Hotel, which is next door to the World War II Museum. Uh, there, it's it's really kind of centered around the Blood Red Skies uh, aviation game. But I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I'm gonna run uh, Check Your Six and uh, another game called Get to the Chopper, which is just a fun predator type beer and pretzel game. But if anyone's motivated to go to New Orleans first weekend of June, they're they're giving really good prices on the hotel. It's a brand new hotel, literally right next to the World War II Museum, first and it's weekend, uh it's first, week, first weekend in June. First weekend of June, so it's June fourth through six, yeah. Okay. And uh, that hotel is a uh, very Art Deco uh, World War. Uh, it should be a pretty cool setting. That would be good for the CMP. That's one of the problems there is the, you know, um, there's not a good place to stay for people to visit and go to the museum. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, but there is now. This hotel is, it's a Hilton property. It's a, it's oh. So if you got Hilton it's points, it's you can hotel. use them. It's the museum's actual hotel, right? Attached to the museum. Across yeah, the well, it's, yeah, th there's kind of a partnership, but I mean, Hilton is running the hotel for them. Right. And, uh, the room nights are pretty cheap. There, it's one hundred and fifty a night, which is a discounted price for this event. Um, have you stayed there? So just or have you stayed there already, Rob? No, because my in laws are live right. there, so I don't right. normally stay at hotels. But yeah. I think for this event, and I, I would want to stay to be, you know, right there, the mm -hmm. center of not have to commute because there's probably going to be some happy hours involved. Oh, by the way, before everybody else goes, before you all go, can I ask you please to use red dice to mark the casualties, the damage to your ships? I know some of you have written on the table, but if we don't, if you don't come back next week and we don't remember how much damage the ship has taken, we will never be able to I recreate think, the battle. 
So if anybody's got damage I think existing, we on have marked all the British correctly. All right, so the French. Yeah, and I, I marked my fleet. Okay, so Rob, oh, Rob Barry, if you've got any ticket, any damage? Rob uh, Barry, uh, Barry my, taking damage. My surviving ship is undamaged. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's all. I, I want to make sure. <laughs> Except I want for the one shot at it. I just want to make. Sure oh no, I, the Britannias, the Britannias are not marked. Yeah, correct, and I don't know what how much damage I think it's it did 11. take. Eleven. Okay. And I'm just I'm making sure that all the command dice are gone. It looks like all the command dice are now gone off the ships. So as long as the red dice reflect what's actually hit on the ships, that will that way we'll know. So uh, okay. Good job, Andy. All right, guys. Yeah, you brought excellent. Imperial That's Skies good. to the virtual world. Well, you know, yeah. you, got, you got to pioneer these things, Rob, and give us a, a stable of stuff. It wouldn't be it wouldn't be our, an, our annual anniversary celebration if we couldn't play Imperial Skies. You should get some serious cred from from uh, who is it? Tony, who wrote these rules? Robin, Robin Fitton. I've been well, fitting. Uh, That's I'm right. Waiting, I'm waiting. Like I said, I'm looking forward to getting Robin's top-down art for the actual ships so next next week we may actually, be cool you may, see, you may see some actual ships from the book from the rule book cool so oh, and then we thanks for doing this Andy. Might, yeah these might get replaced by actual british ships red ships from the game very good right, see guys. you next week see you, see all right, you. right. Yeah. see you <laughs>